Come get it. It's right here. You're not even gonna eat? There you go. Here. Go on, little dog. just got here like 10 minutes ago and I haven't seen him move this much since I've had him at all this is the first time I've seen him move what's up everybody I hope you can hear me let me test the stream real quick here on uh, I'm gonna put it on my TV um, give me one second. This is a f What are you doing? Make sure everything's working. I think the audio's working because I had the, uh... Yep, I think we're good. Okay, cool. We got the little chat on the side working and everything. Good deal. And the little, um... The, uh, progress bar. Fantastic. Okay, so now that we have that running, I should be able to see your chats on my phone here perfectly. So, okay, everyone can, is saying they can hear me. Cool. Alright, guys. Almost everybody is here. 151 so far. Um, Maeve is digging in my pocket. What are you doing? Come here. Say hi to everybody. Okay, or not. Um, <laughs> I wish we could get the... Um, wait, maybe I can bring up OBS on my phone here and see. Yeah, you want to see? Let's see what everyone's saying about you. What do you think about that? Okay, um, I can see all the chat here, so I think we're good. So when you guys do super chats, I'll have to look at my phone in order to read them, but we should be good here. Let's see, live chat, yeah, good deal. Um, and everyone can hear me, you can see Mavis here helping me out. My voice is off. Badly out of sync. Uh, okay. I was afraid that might happen. Let, let me, um, let me go fix that real quick. We have a new camera set up here. So, I tried to fix that before the stream, but it was hard to do alone. But give me one second. I think I can fix it.
Let's see here. How's the audio now? Can everyone hear me? Is that better? I think it is better. Let's see here. Oh, wow. We just got a new patron, too. Okay. Um, let me try to unmute everything on my TV, and we'll make sure that I'm in sync. All right, here I am. Can everyone hear me? Is that better? I think it is better. Yeah. Okay, we're good now. Much better. Okay, we got two. We got a few super chats already. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, Jeremy Shearer, who was here last time, says hi there for the new bird. Okay, so we should talk about the new bird actually a little bit. Um, in case you guys didn't see on Instagram. Okay, everyone's saying the audio is good now. Perfect. In case you didn't see on Instagram, um, we're getting another bird. It's a keel build toucan. It's a rescue, um, although not quite as bad of a rescue as Tupac here. It still is probably going to need some assistance. <laughs> Can I help you, Maeve? What are you looking for? Can you guys see her on the... You should be able to. Mine is a little, uh, Maeve dropped in. Yeah, she did. <laughs> and I can see the chat on the TV here, which is perfect. Okay. So I can read all of you guys' comments perfectly. Which one is more affectionate? Um, Tupac. I'm going to say Tupac for sure. Um, Maeve just likes to use me as a perch. <laughs> and as a feeding device. Okay, everyone's saying way better. I'm not using my phone this time. I actually got a real camera. So, you want a blueberry? Oh, God. So, I hope that whenever we get chats coming in here, that it adds up on the little fund at the top. We'll have to see if that works or not. But, okay, we just got another chat. Have a picture of the new bird. I do on Instagram. Um, I can't put one up during the live stream because I'm not on my computer. It's like I have like cables running from a camera all the way back to my desktop. But um, if you go on Instagram, at toucan.tv, just like the channel name, you'll be able to see her. So let's see what the super chats are saying here. Um, let's see, Monica G. Great to see the flock growing. Glad to know a bird will have a good home. Thank you, Monica. She sent $20 through Super Chat. Thank you so much. So this would not be possible without you guys donating right now. Like the last stream that we did on Christmas was really when I was like, okay, I think I can commit to go get, yeah, Maeve's like looking behind the TV right now. I think she's like confused as to like which one's me and which one's uh, here. What are you doing? She's like over there. You guys can't see her, but um, let's continue reading the super chats here. Thank you, Monica. Um, HS, $50. Again, I can't believe the generosity you guys have, in all honesty. <laughs> um, but they say for the new member of your flock, thank you. Um, Andrew Lang sent $10 through the chat. He says, hope you guys are having a good day. Don't got much, but here's $10 for the new bird. You have no idea how much that will actually help. Like, any little bit helps. So, thank you very much, Andrew. Andy says, let's test that bar. $2. I don't think it's working. Ugh. Um, maybe I can update... Maybe I can update, like, through... Okay, wait, hold on a second. We're, we're getting more. Uh, Barely1970 says, here's hoping she joins the flock soon. It will be soon. I've already committed, like, bought the tickets to go. So this is happening. <laughs> and, uh, again, I would not have committed to doing that if it weren't for you guys and your incredible generosity during the last stream and then also on Patreon and all that. So, Maeve, come say hi to everybody. Yeah, don't fly into Tupac. You're going to make him upset. Um, 
Rainbow Six Moments Potato Aim. A <laughs> dollar ninety nine says can't wait for the new toucan. Thank you, Rainbow Six Moments Potato Aim. <laughs> um, Hazel forty seven eighty seven says thanks for being you, and we have nineteen ninety nine. Thank you so much, Hazel. Man, the the amount of chats coming in right now is incredible. Your generosity knows no bounds, literally. <laughs> um, Pink Shark says for a new rainbow chicken, two ninety nine. Thank you, Pink Shark. I hope I got everyone caught up here. Yeah. Okay. Um, the bar is not working. So. I wonder if I can update it through the thing here. Of course, I don't know how what the total is there. That should be working. You're not even gonna oh wait. Eat. Oops, I didn't mean to play my own video. Okay. Um. Let me see if I can. At least it shows up. You know, that's a good thing. So. Uh, Maeve, are you gonna take a bath? Let me see here. I gotta log in to Streamlabs here on my phone. Okay, I've only done a few live streams so far, so bear with me on all this technicality stuff. Um, we're gonna hope that we can get the donation bar at the top working, but the quality's dropping on the... Man, I wish that was not happening. Okay, um, but we're going to... Okay, I can actually keep track of today's earnings on here, and I can just update it. But let's see. Uh, so so far, we've already made $152 in just these few short minutes. So that's crazy. Okay, let me um, let me update the donation bar. And Maeve's taking a bath back there. I hope you guys can see her. Um, let's see. Um, man, I wish I, I wish there was a way to test this before the. There might be a way to test it before the stream starts, but let's see. Um, man, I don't know. If there is a way for me to do it without getting on my computer, of course. Um, here's what we can do. Uh, give me a second to go... Here, check this out. <laughs> Watch Maeve take a bath for a second while I go try to fix the donation ticker. Hold on. <laughs>
Okay, I'm now back. Let's adjust the camera back here. Okay. All right. Um, I updated it. I don't know if there's a way to get it to start working properly with uh, the, uh, what am I trying to say? The super chats. Oh man, brain fart. Okay. Let's get, we got like a bunch of um, super chats in the meantime. So let's try to catch up on them here. Um, okay, did we get Stacy Kayshaw? I think we, wait, hold on. Oh, when, oh, the last one was Ariana for Kill Bill Volume 1. She sent, or they sent, she or he, I think it's a she, sent $20 through the Super Chat. So thank you. Kill Bill Volume, you guys kind of have the idea of where I'm going with the name, huh? It would be Volume 2 Can, though, right? <laughs> but yes, Kill Bill Volume 2 Can. Thank you. Um, Stacy K. Shaw says, for the new member of your banana flock, can't wait to see her and all the good you'll do. Thank you, Stacy. She sent $10. Um, Vapor on the fish puppy, 98, sent $1. Thank you, Vapor. No comment, though. Let's see. HS sent $100. Canadian? Yeah, Canadian. Wow. Uh, something to help you get the nonprofit st started. You and the birds are worth every penny. Thank you, HS, so much. That's very kind of you. And we are gonna get that started soon. I do have it. I'm gonna have it on hold though for now until we get the um, we get the new bird and get her settled in, and then I'll go back to investing back into that. But I just don't want to um, overwhelm myself too much with you know, multiple different things going on at once, and especially financially. I want to make sure the bird is settled in and healthy before I start going, okay, I can start putting some money into this. Because it's going to cost some money to start the nonprofit, which is kind of ironic if you think about it. But, um, you know, I'm going to have to hire lawyers or whoever else, accountants, to help me make sure everything's started legally and properly. And then hopefully that means that, at least this is my goal, and one of the main reasons of me doing it is so that if you guys have contributions on Patreon or stuff like that, or you want to send donations on GoFundMe or anything like that, we can get it where you can write it off your taxes and stuff like that, and you have more assurance to know that it's going to the birds. So, and not that I think that you guys think I'm going to just buy random crap with it or anything, but... You know, it's nice to at least have the assurance. I know if I was a donator, that's something that would feel good to me. So, but for now, um, we're going to work on getting this bird here. And again, thank you, HS, so much. Um, let's move down here. Franzi Wizzy says, for the bananas, and they sent $5. Thank you, Franzi. <laughs> um, Dragon Truth sent $5 as well. And... They said, I always thought it was a Kill Bill toucan, and it is not. Here's for the new bird. Yes, it's Keel, like with two E's, Keel build. Um, they're also called, and so each toucan, it's kind of weird. Each toucan has a, like a separate name or different names for the same species. Like, for instance, Maeve species can also be called a white-throated toucan or a red-billed toucan or a common toucan. Or, and same with, it's weird because not, or red bill toucans be called common toucans. And kill bill toucans can also, or not kill bill, toco toucans can also be called common toucans. So, and then kill bill toucans have like three different names. One is rainbow bill toucan, the other is sulfur breasted toucan. So, um, but yeah, kill bill toucan is the common term used for them. So, let me get back to the chats here. Um... Okay, I am lost here. Okay, we got Dragon Truth. Now we're going down to Kelly Tax Gaming. I, th I hope that's right. Um, she says, hope you guys have a wonderful day for the beautiful toucan to join so soon. Love the colors on it. Thank you so much, Kelly. She sent $75. You guys are wild, but thank you so much. Um... 
Pink Shark says, let's break with thousand more chickens, $1.99. Thank you, Pink Sharks. <laughs> Yeah, I think after this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap out on two cans until I move. But uh, you know, I think three is all this house can handle. Uh, I re I live in a relatively small house, and it's really not set up as well as I would like it to be set up for the birds. There's a lot of stuff that I would do differently if I could, like, go in and fix some stuff, or like if I bought a new house and then could redo the living room and stuff like that beforehand I would do a lot of things differently uh, for starters like a lot of, there's a lot of holes punched in the walls from perches <laughs> so but also like these shelves you see Maeve get up on I'd really prefer if she'd not get up there because they can poop up there and it's I have to get up there like twice a day to clean it and it's a pain in the ass in all honesty so I'd, I'd prefer it if there were just kind of perches higher where they, if they do poop, it's, it goes onto the floor and I can easily wipe it up and know it's there. But, you know, it worked with what you got and I'm blessed that I have this house and it's paid off and it gives me the abilities to work with the birds full time and do YouTube full time and stuff like that. So, you know, can't complain about that. Um... Let's see what we're talking about. We're talking about convergent evolution. Ooh, I like talking about that. The convergent evolutions between toucans and hornbills. That is a very interesting thing that I'd like to make a video on. Um, for those of you who don't know, convergent evolution is like, it's when two separate branches of animals evolve similar adaptations for similar niches and completely different places and aren't even related. Like for instance, toucans are not related in any way to hornbills, but they have very, very similar adaptations. They eat similar food. They, they behave similarly. Um, hornbills get a lot bigger, but, and they've evolved separate ways of handling their uh, large beaks. Like for instance, toucans, you want to turn around, Maeve? Or we can use Tupac for an example here. Like Tupac, or you know, toucans in general. This whole bill here is made from a soft, spongy material that's extremely lightweight. So they can easily move it without any further adaptations. I mean, they have a long neck, of course, but you want me to touch you? Is that what you want? Are you a good boy? Whereas hornbills, hornbills' bills are heavier, but they have a fused vertebrate, like back here, where it gives them additional support to be able to move it more easily. So, but they, they both serve similar functions, and I think they even recently found out that like toucans, hornbills can use their bills to regulate their body temperature, just like toucans can. So that's very interesting to me, and that's something that I'd like to do like a further kind of video essay style thing on in the future. So yeah, and when I move, I see you guys talking about if I move, I can build aviaries and stuff like that. That is a goal, and that's one of the reasons I want to cut it off at three here with the toucans, because um, there's a lot of toucans that need help that aren't friendly, like Maeve and Tupac here. So... Um, they would need like a large outdoor flight in order to accommodate them because they're not going to be friendly to people. There's, there's birds like retired breeders that a lot of times, do you want some food? Is that what you're wanting? Retired breeders that they have, um, that a lot of times when they get up in age and they can't breed anymore, they become useless to the breeder. And this isn't true for every breeder, but there are breeders out there that just straight up neglect retired breeders because they don't serve a purpose after they're done breeding and making them money essentially and um, they're forgotten and left in cages to die basically and not treated very properly so but you know that's one of the things that if I had the pro well I, I have property out here but I don't want to stay here and which means I don't want to spend like 20 grand to invest in outdoor flights and stuff like that when I'm going to move. Um, so I'd like to have a more permanent place I could stay at and then invest in, 
and having birds like that potentially in the future. Oh, you want some more? Because there's a lot of birds that are like Maeve that are maybe they were in zoos or for display or whatever else. They're not going to be friendly and they're not going to they're not going to be suitable for a house, you know. So. Did you take a bath? You needed a bath, a dirty bird. Yeah, this is what Maeve does all day, by the way. <laughs> she just pops in and out. Everyone's saying, uh, everyone's saying Maeve's just popping in and out. That's basically what she does. She just comes and says hi when she wants to, and then she goes away, so. You're getting big, huh? She's getting big lately. She's gained, like, 20 grams in weight. Um... Okay, let's check the super chat again. Those beaks can't hurt you, can it? Um, that's a question I get asked often, is if their bites hurt. Um, no. I mean, well, yeah, they hurt. Watch, watch Bird Tricks. Uh, Bird Tricks has a video on them biting. I'll, I'll do one in the future, but I didn't want to rain on their parade. But Bird Tricks has a video on there. They have a toko named Rocco that seems very well cared for. Or, um, yeah, very well cared for. And they have a video talking about how they bite and stuff and they get hormonal. I'm sorry, I'm watching Maeve here. She's on the side of the couch jumping back and forth. Um, but they, they can hurt. Like, you can see here, a two-pot has these, well, I'll almost all toucans some iris series don't as much but they have these forward facing serrations on their beaks i don't know if you can see it very well here or not you want to show them your your beak they have these forward facing serrations where if they are trying to i mean obviously they can kill another animal and eat it so it's going to hurt to some extent if they're trying to hurt you so but they don't bite like parrots do they'll they'll actively like come after you if they want to bite you. Like a parrot, if you kind of respect its space, it'll, it'll leave you alone for the most part. But a toucan will actually follow you around and try to attack you if it's not happy about you being there. So, but they will, they will take their bill, and again, let's pretend this is a bill right here. They have forward-facing serrations, and when they bite your hand or whatever else, and they jab at it like that. They don't. They don't just bite like this. They they peck and jab, and that's how they really do the damage when they're trying to kill prey or whatever else. So they'll take it like that. Those serrations will get stuck in your skin, and they thrash like a terrier or like a little dinosaur. Like you've seen it, probably seen it happen before. But they shake their head really fast like that. And if they do that, they get a hold of your skin, get that ser serration in your skin, and start shaking it. They can do some damage and it hurts. They will make you bleed. But for the most part, like, like they don't, like Tupac and Maeve, uh, neither one have really bit me. So, but Ripley, Ripley bite the shit out of me all the time, <laughs> believe it or not. She was a very hormonal one. I don't know how Maeve's gonna end up, but Ripley was very hormonal. So, and most toucans are, and that's one of the reasons they don't make the best pets is they could be I mean, all birds can be hormonal, but toucans are real. Toucans are cocky assholes, for lack of a better phrase. Like they, they will really, they will go after things bigger than them and try to bully them, and they can do it successfully because other animals are terrified of their beak. It's just, I mean, if you had this big giant orange thing coming after you, you would think it could do some damage and wouldn't want to be any part of it. And they really take advantage of that. That's how they're able to plunder nests and stuff so easily. So. Let me move the camera down a little bit here. So, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, okay, we need to check the super chats here because we got off on a tangent here. Um... Trying to scroll up. Hopefully I saw everything. Wait, hold on. I hope I didn't miss anything. Let's see here. 
Um, okay, now I have to go to the events here on my phone just to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, okay, I think we're here. Hughes White Angel donated $5 through the Super Chat. They didn't have a comment, but thank you so much. And then Dr. Corbius donated 7 Also through Super Chat. Hi from Italy. It's nice to learn English with Toucan's videos. Wow, I, didn't, I never thought people could be potentially learning English through my videos, but thank you. That's awesome. Hello from the U.S. <laughs> um, let's see, Dragon Truth donated $2 and asked, have you gotten two pack of car or two pocket carpet scrap yet? I have not. I've been looking at... See, this, this area, like, right here that I want to put it is a weird kind of shape, and I think I've decided that I want to get, like, a circle rug to go there. This is where his food and stuff is. I keep, I keep it low because he can't fly, and he can't really get up anywhere high. But he likes to spend time down there every now and then, and I want to get him, like, there's this weird vent, like, right in front of where the bowls are that blocks it where, like, if I got a strip of carpet I'd have to cut out like an area for the vent so I'm trying to find like a little circle carpet that's maybe like three or four feet that will fit there comfortably but um, I did find one the other day and then uh, I haven't I mean I have it bookmarked and everything so I'm, I think I'm gonna get that I wanted to double check and make sure there wasn't a better option though before I committed to it so um, okay but yeah, we're 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 working on we're gonna get him carpet. Don't worry, we'll get him carpet. <laughs> and then when I'm when I move, hopefully sometime later this year, we can uh, think of a better permanent solution for him. But he really doesn't go on the floor that much. He mostly likes to stay here. He likes to stay on the couch, like right here, and sit next to me. He doesn't like to be away from me. Um, I think he feels a lot safer when I'm near him. So. He tends to stay on the couch, or on the back of the couch, or like right here sometimes on the cushion. So he has a lot of soft padding, but when he, when he jumps down to get his food, he does need a little bit of carpet there. But we'll get it taken care of, don't worry. Um, all right, let's catch up here. Um, Connor Mc, 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 McMenemy? Oh, man, I cannot say that. Connor McMenemy. It says, hi from North England. Love watching you guys. You go bring home another bird who needs you. Scratch the pock for me. And he sent $10. Thank you so much, Connor. I will give Tupac a little scratch for you. There you go. And he, Tupac's in a scratching mood right now, apparently. <laughs> they aren't always in a cuddly mood. So, or mood, so. Um, Mark Spector sent $5 again through Super Chat. So it's just passing this along. Good luck with the new bird. Thank you, Mark. It means a lot. Mark, spec or Mark has been, I think he was here the last stream. So thank you for returning. Um, Pink, Pink Shark again donated $1.99 and said, Have you ever considered buying tiny hats for Tupac? Yes, but I don't, I have a, I have a mixed opinion on dressing birds. I know a lot of people do it and I don't want to offend anybody, but I, I just think it's unnecessary stress to put on them and especially with Tupac, I don't want to potentially stress him out by putting anything on him just for a, some Instagram clout, you know, for a picture. So it's not really worth that kind of risk to me. Like giving them a little piece of food or something is one thing because they're willing to take it and eat it obviously, but like forcing a hat or something on their body is, I don't know. It, I don't think it's necessarily wrong. It's just something I'd rather not put him through if I have the option to. Maybe in the future. I don't know. But you got a feather in your eye, buddy. There you go. You really want scratches right now, don't you? We almost, we almost got hit by a tornado yesterday, so. Um... Okay, we need to, let's try to read some of the other chats while we're here. Um, oh, we got something on GoFundMe. Let me, let me try to sign in here so we can see what it says. Okay. 
Uh, we got $50 from Hayden Williams. Thank you so much, Hayden. Um, he sent this on, on um, GoFundMe, but they say, I donated here because I didn't know how to donate on the live chat. Ripley helped me get through a bad period of depression, and Tupac reminds me of my late dog. She didn't give a damn either. <laughs> Maven Tupac and the host's approach to other human beings just make me happier being, so thank you. Hayden, that means a lot. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so glad that anything I do might be able to help people with depression because it's something I struggle with as well. So thank you so much. It, it really does. It means the world to me. Get the pen feathers out for Tupac. Yeah, he does have a little bit of pen feathers right now. That's probably why he, want, he wants some cuddles. You want some cuddles, buddy? Look at all these people are watching you right now. Can you believe that? And they came here to see you. Um, let's try to... Let's try to see what the other people in chat are saying. Give me a sec. Gotta bring up the chat again. Um, okay, oh, we just got a super chat again. Okay, Goldie Boger. Hope I'm saying that right. I'm not the best at pronouncing words that I read. <laughs> I, will, I will say that first and for, foremost. Um, but they say, hi, been watching for a while, love your channel and the birds. Could you tell us more about the Kiel Toucan? Um, I'm trying to remember what I've said already. Uh, who's sending a bunch of emojis in the chat? Let's try not to send too many emojis so we don't fill up the whole chat on the screen for everybody. Um, hold on a second. Uh, okay, we're going to talk about the Keel Bill Toucan. What can I say about her? I'm trying not to say too much because I don't know what the current owner would want me to say, but I just won't say their name or anything. I've, I've talked about her a bit, but um, from what I gather, and there's videos on Instagram, by the way. If you want to go see the bird, there's videos of the bird and photos of her on Instagram at toucan.tv, just like the channel. Um... Basically, and this here's one of the reasons I was very motivated to get this particular toucan. But more than normal. I mean, a lot of times things like this don't always pop up. But people will send me things on Craigslist out every now and then. And if the bird looks like it needs help, I'll inquire and just see what's going on with it exactly. But this person has been a little, a little vague and I'm not sure if, that, if that's intentional or not. It's probably not intentional. But basically, from what I've put together, the story of this bird is basically um, this person, this girl. She's a young girl. I um, think she's a teenager, 18, 19, something like that. Uh, she loves animals, clearly, but she has a lot of them. And she got this toucan from, I don't know um, to what extent it was her parents that bought it for her, or it was her, but she got this toucan July, I, I want to say, sometime summer of last year, and then I'm assuming after summer, you know, she had just graduated high school, and then decided to go to college and moved away and can't obviously you can't take a freaking toucan into a college dorm and uh, the toucan stayed back with her parents and obviously the parents don't want to care for it because it's you know a handful toucans are not a passive pet by any means but uh so she moved away and left the bird with her parents, and her parents don't seem very keen on it. They don't seem like they like it very much, and they're unwilling to take care of it, and they told her that she needed to sell it. So um, sometime in September, or August maybe, August or September, uh, somebody sent me the link to a Craigslist ad about the bird, and I inquired, and they were asking what they paid for it, which was like $4,500, which is... Which is, uh, you know, that's like the top end dollar for a, for a Kill Bill 2 can right now. 
and that's and even then that's cheap for a toucan like Maeve and Tupac species are somewhere between 10 12 grand so unfortunately keel bills a lot get the short end of the stick because so their their price they used to be like seven or eight thousand dollars but lately they've had a lot of them smuggled illegally i might add to into the country probably from costa rica because they can drive you know over the border with them and um the price dropped i mean exponentially and i say this very seriously if you guys think you want a toucan first of all do a crap ton of research and remember i do not recommend them as pets and one of the reasons i don't bring up prices of them that much is because i don't want people to go oh well that's not too bad maybe i want to get a toucan and then have that toucan end up suffering the same fate as what this toucan and many others like it also suffer there's been a lot of there's been a lot of kill bill toucans specifically on instagram for instance, that bounce from owner to owner, and the social media goes with them. And, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to dog on anybody that has that social media or particular bird, There's because there's been several, I'll say that. But the birds bounce from owner to owner. They never have a solid home. And that's the fate of many toucans, unfortunately. And a lot of times, either they end up dying or being forgotten or neglected and or all of the above. And people think they're going to get clout from having an exotic pet on Instagram, and it they end up the animal ends up suffering for it. So, but Kill Bill toucans specifically seem to suffer this fate more so. Um, if you look online, even a lot of the people that have birds or toucans specifically. And I can't speak as much about parrots because I don't, I'm not as familiar with parrots, not nearly as much as toucans. So I'm speaking just about toucans here. Um, but you can really notice when a, when a toucan isn't healthy. You can notice it in their feathers, and you can especially notice it in their beak. And that's the first thing I notice with Tupac as well. Uh, they'll get fungal infections in their beak. Their beak will start flaking. It'll be very pale almost pastel colored especially with keel built toucans and there's a lot of keel built toucans if you look online you'll see their beak peeling and it just looks like this ugly pastel color that it just should not be this particular bird doesn't look that way thankfully i don't think it's been alive for long enough to get this uh problem but uh and you can notice it with, with tocos as well. If you, if you see some tocos on Instagram or whatever that people have, they'll keep them in a basement and never t they'll never see the sunlight and hardly ever get to come out because maybe the person has other birds and they don't get along with each other because toucans are not fans of other birds if they're not toucans. And they're hardly even fans of toucans sometimes. So um, the, toucans are just weird, quirky birds. They're... I mean, to me, they're predictable because I'm used to them, but I think to a lot of people that may, may own parrots and stuff that they probably think their body language is super weird and that they're super unpredictable. So, hold on a sec. I'm probably getting a little off topic here, but I'm trying to build some context. Um, I know there's a lot of super chats that came in. I'm sorry, guys. And I'll update the donations soon. But... What was I saying about the keel bills? Um, so basically they just, well, oh, I, I remember what I was saying. I was talking about toco toucans. You'll see like with a toco toucan, and it's really weird because they're like, you see how orange Tupac's two, two beak is and red on the top, how it's got that brilliant red stripe on the top. And you want me to pet you, don't you? Okay. But if you look at some of the birds that they just have this like pale bone yellow almost almost even white beak and you can really tell that that's you know not right they're not getting enough nutrients or sunlight if that's the case so and but with keel bill toucans you'll see that they get this weird like smeary pastel color on their beak when it, really they should be this brilliant green orange blue red and um I was trying, what I was trying to get at is this is a motivating factor for me to get this particular bird 
and it kind of tugged at my heart. You want some more blueberries? Okay. Tugged at my heartstrings a bit because of the fate so many of these birds suffer. And I just thought it would be nice for this bird to be an ambassador for that. And we can talk about it more often about how they come from these backgrounds because it's a different background than Tupac. You know, it's, she's a young bird. She's one, she's not even one. She's a little bit older than Maeve. And she's probably about the same size as Maeve. Maybe her beak might be a little bit bigger. But it's just an opportunity to have an ambassador for their, for Keelbill specifically, that get tossed around from owner to owner and suffer this fate of perpetual, you know, lack of home or lack of flock. And for a bird, that's very stressful to not have permanence and to not like toucans are very habitual and they really need some permanence and some structure in their lives or they're they're going to get stressed out so um but yeah this kill bill toucan is i think she's like about maybe nine or ten months old she's a little bit older than Maeve, but not by much and i'm just i don't know she's not in the worst of circumstances you know she's in a less than ideal cage that she probably hasn't been out of in a long time and her feathers are pretty messed up she's missing her tail feathers her wings are clipped her you can see by the video on instagram that she's pretty ruffled and um which again like i said that's like the first start of unhealthy toucan you can recognize is they're not taking care of their feathers they should be they should be a shiny black you know like almost a blue in person, they look almost like in the, in the light when it shines, like it almost looks like a bluish purple. So if they're like a matte black without that shine and they're ruffled and stuff like that, you know there's the beginnings of an issue that you need to address. So, and they really need attention. You can't just put a toucan in a small cage and small is not necessarily small to a parrot, but for a toucan it is. And leave it there and not give it attention. And, um, you know, that's really stressful to a bird. For, for a social animal to be left like that, it sucks, you know? So, my, maybe not as bad of circumstances as Tupac necessarily, but, but different and a means of telling people about this problem. And, you know, I mean, it's a relatively small problem. Let's be real. Dogs and cats get, get abandoned and neglected all the time. But... Uh, toucans are what I do, and that's my passion. So that's what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> but anyways, let's get let's get caught up on the super chats. And if anybody wants some clarification on what I said, go ahead and send the, send your questions into the chat there, and I'll I'll try to get to them right after the super chats because this is really about that the new bird. So we're going to talk about her as much as we can, and we really need to update the um, the goal. On the, re on the little bar at the top. So hold on. Let's take a look here at our new super chats. Um, let's see here. Okay. Um, okay. Goldie was the last one we read, I think. Yeah, okay. B uh, Bodil Hoffman sent 17 DKK in Denmark. I, I don't know what that translates to, unfortunately. <laughs> That's a problem for me. Um, I can't read all these different currencies. Like, I'm not, I'm not cultural, guys. <sighs> That's my fault, though. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. But um, they say love to you and the birds from Bo in Denmark. Thank you, Bo, so much. Can't believe people watch me in Denmark. That's crazy. Um, Christina Suggs sent four ninety nine, also through chat, of course. She says, hey, from Georgia, USA, over by the Brave Stadium. Always had a special love and interest for penguins since I was young. Now from your vids, I love toucans. Thank you so much, Christina. That means a lot. I'm glad that I can spark your love of toucans. That's what I'm here for. But, um, and be safe there in Georgia. You guys are supposed to be getting the storms we got yesterday. Pretty soon, probably. So, I'm moving, like, east through the U.S. So, um, 
Let's move on. TKL222 donated $30, also through Super Chat, for the finest bananas on earth. <laughs> they, are, they are fine bananas. I will give them that. Um, but thank you, TKL. $30. Thank you so much. Pink Shark, again, sent $1.99 through Super Chat. And they say a blueberry for a good boy. Yes, we will give good boy a blueberry. And they just took a huge dump over there. I heard it. There you go. If you guys want me to give any of the birds scratches or blueberries when you send in the chats, let me know in the comments and I will. But thank you, Pink Shark. Um, Johan Anderson donated SEK100 from Sweden. I, don't, I wish I knew what that translated to, to US dollars, but it doesn't matter how much it is because it all that matters is you guys are able to support me whether through just watching chatting and and the super chats you know everything means a lot to me trust me <laughs> but they say um your dedication of animal welfare is heartwarming love your channel from sweden thank you so much johan i hope i'm saying your name right <laughs> um raynor shinikusto sock Shin it sock? Man, I wish I could read all these names. My reading skills are not on point today. Uh, thank you for the wonderful content. Wildlife education is so important. Do you have an Amazon list with toys slash supplies we can have donated to the toucans? If so, sorry, I didn't see it. Um, but they sent $30. Thank you so much. Before I answer the question, I want to make sure to thank you. Um, we don't have an Amazon list but we might work on getting an affiliate link soon, which also means we can associate a wish list. But the problem with toucans and the wish list is like, the wish list would be like these giant cages that are, that are expensive. And there's not like little toys that, like I don't, I don't need little, you know how with a parrot you buy a toy, it chews it up or whatever, you know, it's wood. And then you got to buy another one. Like with the toucan, you don't necessarily have to do that because they just play with little stuff like this, like bottle caps. Like this is this is one of their favorite toys. See? You want that? So you know, oh, she dropped it already, but you get the idea. <laughs> They're easily entertained, and they'll use the same toys over and over. Like this little mouse, like this little cat toy. You want to play with that? What do you think about that? It's not, it's, all I'm trying to make is it's not expensive to entertain them, really. It's expensive to house them and care for them, but not entertain them. And unfortunately, I can't put blueberries and stuff on Amazon wish list, so. But for stuff like the water filter, that would be helpful. But I don't, I don't know, what I'm trying to say is I don't know what I'd put on it that isn't incredibly expensive, so. Um, I just feel bad asking that kind of stuff with people. Like, I don't want them to feel like they need to buy anything expensive or that we're asking a lot from them. So and here I am with a $2,200 request here on <laughs> Super Chats. But, you, you know, that's for that bird specifically. But you get my point. Um, but thank you for the $30 is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got one more from Ariana again. Said, for Kill Bill... Volume 2, because I had to, Brock. I'm sorry. I forgive you. For Kill Bill Volume 2. We're going to have to get some, we're have to get some shirts made with the yellow motorcycle jumpsuit. I don't know about you guys. I think, but we need, we need some stuff like that. For sure. Um, let me check the chats here and make sure there's no new stuff. Just in, as far as questions go. Uh, Miss Nebulosity. She was here last time. She's just sent $5 and sent hearts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yes, Amazon sells food. Do they sell like fresh produce though? Like blueberries and stuff? Or like, like I buy frozen blueberries usually. So, and then like, I mean, I have fresh blueberries, but they're usually for like treats. They, they seem to prefer the frozen ones though. For, here. You want that? They seem to prefer the frozen ones for some reason. I guess because all the juices are on the outside and stuff, but... Um, 
Let's see here. Okay, we really need to update the bar at the top. Since I don't know how to I don't know how to associate it with the with the super chats for some reason. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take twenty minutes to figure it out while you guys are all here. So but let's update it real quick. Um, wow. So th today we've made $480.68 already. So that's incredible. Uh, unfortunately, like, YouTube takes a portion of that. So it's not going to be exactly that. But let me go and, let's see. Okay, so we should be up to, how much did I have before? It was like $422 when we started the stream that we got from the last stream. And then... We have 480 now, so that means we have 902, but we still have, we still have some of the, we have to account for YouTube taking some, so we're going to say like 750 maybe, Seven, we'll say 700, and, we'll say 780. Let me, um, let me go update it. That should be pretty accurate now. Uh, yeah, every time I give... Oh, I need to give Tupac some blueberries. What am I thinking? You guys are completely right. Um, okay, let's check. I think I missed some super chats here. Yeah, I did. Enigma. Enigma sends twenty dollars. Oh, it's Mexican currency though. But she's I think it's she based on the photo, yeah. But she says, Love your channel, greetings from Mexico. Thank you so much, Enigma. Enigma. Man, I cannot say Enigma. Alright, we're good now. <laughs> but thank you so much. Um that should be updated now. I did get something on GoFundMe a second ago. Let's check that. Ayla Wood sent $50. Keep on helping out those toucans. Thank you, Ayla. Thank you for watching. Let's, uh, let's check all the other chats here. What are, you, are you digging in my pockets, Maeve? What are you doing? We're gonna, we're gonna try to see how many people are, uh, are watching now. 318. Wow. I think that's the most we've ever had. 318 people watching right now. Uh, Cheryl Kincaid just sent $10 Canadian. No message. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, oh, yeah. I did want to say uh, we just got another Toucan sponsor on Patreon the other day. If I remember correctly, it was Jacob Tumas, who's been a longtime patron. Uh, let me double check, because I want to I wanna call him out and thank him. Uh, let's see here. Man, why can't I, the, the app sucks for Patreon. But from what I remember, it was Jacob Tomas. Let's see, we got the tiers here. I'm pretty sure it was him. I want to double check because I don't want to accidentally thank the wrong person. But, okay, here we go. And 
think I can see can see now whether I'm right. I think I think I'm right, but you know. Um search members here. Yep. Jacob Tomas. And he is now a sponsor of Tupac. So and he's been a long time patron. But thank you, Jacob, so much. If you're watching, thank you. Like it, it really helps us out a lot. I'm gonna like we just have right now. We just oh, Maeve's playing with that laser pointer from the other video, the other day. <laughs> she dropped it on the ground. Um, so we have on Patreon or Patreon different tiers. Our top tier is like sponsors for individual birds. Right now we just have Tupac, but we will add the new bird soon. I might add Maeve, but Maeve's not Maeve's not a rescue, and she doesn't really need any medical treatment or anything. She's healthy, so. I feel, I feel bad about asking for her, but some people want to help me, and that's fine. So we might do like $50 or something like that for those that want to. Why are you dropping that on the floor? What's wrong with you? We might do a $50 Patreon thing for me. But, um, yeah, I, that, we've had a lot of support go up lately on Patreon, and that, I mean... That's, uh, that really helps, it helps not only me, but it helps the birds especially, that all goes towards, uh, medical stuff, or food, enclosures, all that kind of stuff, so, and that's one of the reasons we want to, okay, you're, if you're going to drop all those on the floor, you don't get any right now, okay? You need to be good. You just ate before the video. You still want that? You want some more? Come up here. Come here. You better not... You, she just dropped it again. <laughs> We're going to give that to Tupac because he's grateful. Okay. Let's try to get caught up on chats, though. Since we've talked about Patreon now. Um... David Stevens says for the Tupac Blueberry and Scratches Fund. He sent $9.99. Thank you, David. He will get a blueberry. And a scratch. You want a scratch, buddy? Okay, he's not in the mood now, but he's going to get one anyway. Stop dropping these on the ground. What are you doing? Every single one you're dropping, aren't you? Every single one of them. Why are you, why are you even digging in there if you're not going to eat them? Huh? Okay. Um. Wait, did we get another Darian here? Oh yeah, no, we got Darian here. Darian the Star. I hope I'm saying that right, Darian. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Learning how to use this sending super chat thing. Everyone else seems to be sending for food. I'm sending for cleaning materials. <laughs> Thank you, Darian. Right now we're trying to just get the bird, um, the rescue. So. For now, it's all going to that, but whatever's left over is going to go to them, obviously. So, what do you? Can you stop? You're going to knock down on the floor and make a huge mess. Okay. Uh, Cheryl. Oh wait, we already did Cheryl. Never mind. Okay, we're caught up now. Let's see if there's any questions here. Oh, we just got. Holy Lord. Okay. Uh. Wow, I don't even know what to say right now. Um, wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> Tiaria? Er Erde? I hope, I hope I'm saying that properly. They just sent $500, which easily puts us over... It puts us over halfway there easily right now. I, I really don't have any words right now, but I'm going to read what they said. Um, from Tiel, Tiel on Patreon, and from one bird family to another, I've been a bird parent since I was 18. 
Thank you for your dedication and helping educate others through your platform. You don't know how much influence your compassion has on others. I hope your dreams of a nonprofit come true. Please accept this donation to help you on your journey. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to cry right now because this is so kind. Um, thank you so much. I, I don't know what, else, what, what to say other than that. Um, it, means, it means the world to me. It really does. That I can have any sort of influence to help people love animals, even on a platform like I do that's relatively small. So... Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I really don't. I wish I did. Wow. Okay. And thank you for thank you for your support on Patreon as well. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm I'm a loss for words. Anyways, <laughs> we'll move on to the next chats here. Um, yes, thank you so much. Oh, the chat's blowing up now. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, Bran Aaron, she's a Patreon. I'm pretty sure. From a yeah, from a soon to be fledgling on Patreon. I hope this helps with a new bird. She sent ten dollars. Thank you so much, Brianna, and thank you for your support on Patreon. I really like it. People are like, oh well, I can only send a dollar or whatever. You have no idea how much that adds up over time when this is your source of income. So, you know. Wow, I can't, I'm still just like flabbergasted by the amount of, just not even from the last one, the $500 one, but just from all of you, like, wow, I don't know what else to say. Um, <laughs> that's nearly 50,000 pennies, yeah, that's one way to put it. <laughs> I'm trying to read through the chats here because it blew up when it, when that happened, um, yeah, I'm blown away. This is a place of good souls. You know, animal people are the best souls. I'll say that right now. They're the most generous people and caring people in the world, in my opinion. That's my opinion, but it's right. <laughs> Especially bird people, I think, specifically, because birds require such a high level of emotional... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I guess attention. Like you have to have a really. What do you, you want some more? Are you just gonna throw them on the floor? If you're gonna throw them on the floor, you don't get any. But you can come. You can come try again. Come on. Yeah, you're gonna click at me. Okay. Um. Yeah, but bird people, I think, are specifically like. I think they're all emotional people. Let's be real. You got to be kind of emotional to have a bird because they're emotional. You got to be kind. Not only do you have to be. You just dropped that again, didn't you? Why are you digging in my pocket? Come here. Oh, she picked it back up. Eat it this time. I know you guys can't see it, but can you eat the blueberry? No, oh, she just dropped it on the floor. Okay. <laughs> you have to have uh, a. You have to be a little crazy and a little psycho, and a little emotional to have a bird. I think. I think we're all I think we're all there to some extent. <laughs> so, I think for specifically birds are just emotion bird people are and animal people in general, but bird people I think especially are emotional souls. <laughs> emotional kind souls like a bird. What are you looking at? Okay, you go over there. Um I'm trying to read through the chats again. Everyone's saying bless you. The Tiaria, I hope I'm saying that right. I know you guys know by now that I'm not the best reader, but we need to update the goal now with all, all the new stuff. So, um, let's see here. <laughs> Tupac is now printing because he knows he's the one who earned five hundred dollars. Yeah, he did. You hustling, boy? He's he's got to grind. Someone's got to grind around here, you know. Certainly not me. <laughs> Teasing. Everyone's saying they can't believe the generosity. I can't either. It's crazy. Um, Miss Nebulosity again with two dollars donation train. Donation train. We can get. You know, I won't argue with the donation train. If you guys want to get one started, that's on you. 
you know. So, <laughs> update the bar. Okay, we're gonna go update the bar. We're gonna we're gonna see what the total earnings are first, so we can update it properly. Hold on. Um, I know it's hard for me to look at the camera. I got so much crap on going on in front of me. I'm I'm paying attention to you guys. Don't worry. But we got birds here. We got chats here. We got camera here. So much. This is the dream for someone with a short attention span like me. I'll say that. Um, what was I doing? Again, short attention span. I don't remember what I was doing now. And for a two, to own two cans, you gotta have a short attention span. You gotta be a little ADD. I'll add that too to the whole thing we were talking about earlier. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Stream, Streamlabs. It'll tell me. It'll tell me the analytics for what we've earned so far. So, so that we can go update the bar real quick. Okay, so in total today we've earned a thousand thirty nine dollars and fifty two cents. That's crazy. Unfortunately, freaking YouTube takes a portion of that. I can't believe, or I can't remember. If it, what are you doing, Dave? You're freaking Tupac out. Okay. Uh, but YouTube takes a portion of that, like 20 or 30%. I don't remember what it was specifically, but... Um, but 1,039, okay, and we started out with 422. We're going to say... Let's say we're at... Well, we'll just... Wait, let's see here. We got to be... We gotta be at like, we gotta be at like 1100. It's gotta be 1100 by now. Okay, we'll go put 1100. Cause I know we've gotten stuff on GoFundMe as well. She likes to follow me around. She dropped a blueberry back there, of course. She keeps dropping these blueberries everywhere. I've got them all over my floor now. I think we're gonna have to cut the blueberry supply off to Maeve right now. We'll give them to Tupac. Here, buddy. You want some? There you go. Okay. Um, Let's uh, let's get updated on super chats again. Uh, fanta phantasmic, ma phantasmic mask. I hope I'm saying that right. I know I've said that a million times now, but they say they they sent a dollar ninety nine and say Tupac looks so lovely. He does look lovely, doesn't he? And he is being a good boy, unlike Maeve. So. Uh, HS says any animal person is emotional and kind living with seven rescue cats and a dog. Yeah, you have to have a kind heart to take in animals, especially those that need help. That sounds like I'm bragging about myself. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> but, I mean, you do have to have some level of uh, care involved to take an animal in regardless. So, you got to care for something that's helpless and really needs you. Really, they really give you purpose, though, you know. So, is I hope the quality's not dropping for everybody else because it just dropped on my TV here a second ago. Hopefully, it picks back up. Um, Cheyenne Doyen says, "I'm a broke college student, but animals are my love." She sent two dollars. Thank you, Cheyenne. Mine are too, and don't feel bad. Study hard. 
running a live stream by yourself is not easy an easy task, especially with Maeve. No, it's not. And my computer's in the other room, so that sucks. Um... Okay, Ariana says, Choo Choo, let's get her done. $10. We got the donation train. It's, it's, it's starting to leave the station here. We're getting there. I mean, it definitely, it definitely had a boost. It was like, you know, in Back to the Future Part 3 when they throw all the, the stuff in the, in the furnace or whatever, and then it goes super fast? That's what happened earlier. What, do you, what is this? I don't know what that is. Um, donation train again from Penguin, my starling. Miss Nebulosity again. Thank you, Miss Nebul Nebulosity. Penguin, a starling named Penguin. That's like, that confused me for a second. <laughs> I was like, she has a penguin? Oh, wait, okay. Bodil Hoffman says, I'm on the train. This is about $2. $2.50. And I guess that's Denmark, right? Yeah. 17 Denmark. Thank you so much, Bodil. I wish I could... I wonder why it's not... I wish it would say, like, you could have a setting where it would say, okay, you have, like, this native currency, and then... But this is what it translates to USD for, for morons like me, you know, so I know. <laughs> um... <laughs> they said I said it right, but now I can't say the name again. Phantasmic mask, phantasmic mask. Okay, I'm I'm trying to get that nailed in my brain now. Yeah, but yeah, they say I said it right. What's the name of the new bird? Um, current name is they named it after the toucan in uh, Rio, I think. Uh. Ava, Ava, something like that. But I think we're going to, re yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm positive we're going to rename it, just because of the fact that it sounds way too close to Mave, and I don't want to confuse them. So, what are you doing, Mave? She knows I'm talking about her. She looked at me. Um. R G Tar. I hope I'm saying that right. I was trying to read it as one word, but I think it's just RG tar. Um, but they say, check out Streamlabs. They take less and transfer faster. Bananas rule. You know, I've been thinking about that, actually. I thought about doing it before the stream, but I was afraid that I'd jack it up and then it wouldn't be working. So we'll get that figured out for the next stream. We're going to do more streams from now on because you guys really seem to enjoy them. And, you know... I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's fun to be able to talk to all you guys and get to know you, so. Uh, Darian again. Darian Destar. So I just added some more, so my original 20 goes through after YouTube has taken its cut. <laughs> Thank you, Darian. That means a lot. I think it'll be more now, though, because what's... Yeah. Well, no, it might. It'll probably be about $20. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Gosh. But, you know, YouTube does give us a platform to do this on. We couldn't do it without them, so... You can't be too mad at him, you know? <laughs> Rainer Shinestock. I'm going to try to say your name. They say you don't have to say my name. And then have a little train. But I'm going to try. Rainer Shinestock. 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 I think that's right. Rainer Shinestock. We're going to have a game where I just try to pronounce you guys' names sometimes. But that, uh, They sent $25. Thank you so much, Rainer Shinestock. I think that's right. Tell me if it's right. Um, burnt Paper Stars has a little train. Fan for a while now. Thank you for the smiles. $2. Thank you so much. Burnt Paper Stars. Um, I don't know. I'm just glad I can bring smiles to people's faces, you know? So. Uh, let's see. Man, it's hard to keep up with chats. Like last time, I was able to read them a little more, but there's some, there's a lot more people here this time. Let me let me reset the count here so I can see how many people are actually here. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm looking at my phone so much. Uh, 
325 right now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we got another one. Oh, fan, fan, some Fantasmic Mask. There we go. Hey, I got it right almost the first time, that time. Um, but they sent $1.99, rain or, shine. rain or shine, it's okay. And I actually, I think I pronounced it properly that time and quickly too. How about that? Uh, Piranha Food sent NOK, $5.49. Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh. Six, okay, that's $60. They have it. There you go, guys. Translate it to the... <laughs> go ahead and put it in the actual comment how much it is in U.S. dollars for my moronic self. <laughs> but $60 is a lot. Thank you so much. Piranha Food says, A banana stream. Um, Sebastian Sex says, Video with your sister making noises to Pac. Legend. $1.99. Euros, I think. Um, Blake's been supposed... She's supposed to... She hasn't even met Maeve yet. She's supposed to be coming over. She's, she's told me about five times now that she's coming over and then she flakes out. So, you know, at some point she's going to come back and we'll do another video with her. But she's not the most reliable person right now, unfortunately. Um, Matt2112 says, found the channel four days ago, been hooked since. And he sent $2. Thank you so much. How did you find it, out of curiosity? I, th I saw that one video went up in views a little bit, but I don't remember which one it was. So, that's good. I'm great. More people are coming in now, lately. Actually, subscribers have gone up a little bit this month as well, which is also awesome. So, I need to try to break 200. I thought, I figured we'd be at 200,000 before the end of last year, but... Um, YouTube purged a bunch of... I guess they purged inactive accounts or what, but... It... it took a bunch of our subscribers away, unfortunately. Okay. Um, Miss Nebulosity. This one's from Chicken Nugget, my sparrow. He's building a nest today. You can call me Neb, it's easier. Okay, I will call you Neb. And tell Chicken Nugget I said thank you so much. <laughs> That's a cute name for a sparrow. Um, Amy, Amy Dang. Dang. Sends a dollar ninety nine. I'm sure she probably gets that a lot. Sorry <laughs> for the new for the new board, bird. A dollar ninety nine. Thank you, Amy. Um, Goldie Goldie Boger Boger. I think is right. Um, send dollar ninety nine. Names ideas for new bird. Natiri, Jewel, Ray. Our core. Natiri, isn't that Avatar? What are you doing, Maeve? I think that's from Avatar, right? I actually, I have, I have a name in mind that I'm like 95% sure I'm going to use. But send me you guys a suggestion just in case, because you never know. Somebody might have a really cool name. But somebody, somebody's partially figured it out already, I will say, in this. It has, it has to do with a pun on Kill Bill. I will say that. You know how I like puns. And you know how I like strong female characters, huh? That's that's some hint for you. Um, let's see. You're showing up in the suggested YouTube feed. That's how I found you yesterday. Well, that's good. For a while, the algorithm wasn't treating me too kindly, but it seems like maybe it's helped. It's picked up a little bit more lately for some reason. I don't know why. I haven't really been doing anything different, so. It's just, uh, YouTube's so weird. It's so random sometimes, you know? Um, it's not, it's not Uma. You're, cl you're very close, but it's not Uma. Very close. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. You guys have to guess. I'm not, and you won't know until after I get her. Uma might be okay though. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be Uma. It's not gonna be Uma. I'm telling you that right now. Everyone's saying Uma right now. You're close, but it's not Uma. I don't know. That might be easier to say. Uma means horse in Japanese. Okay, maybe we don't want to name her Uma then, since she's not a horse. 
Maeve, what are you doing? She's like undoing the zipper on a pillow. I'm curious about all the places that she's pooped during this live stream that I'm going to find after this. Um, I reckon a character's name. Yeah, it's a character. It's not from Star Wars. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna read all you guys' name suggestions right now, and comment on them. I found your channel by googling bird videos a while back. I've been watching for years now. Awesome. Glad I actually show up. All right, somebody. Some people are getting. <laughs> Let's call it David Carradine. <laughs> No, we're not going to call it David Carradine. It's not Ren. It's not Luna either. Luna is my sister's dog's name. And I'll tell you what, that dog is... That dog is crazy. It's like the craziest. <laughs> Mave 2. Yeah. The new bird's name is Mave 2 Electric Boogaloo. Um... Vader. Yeah, no, it's definitely not Vader. I will say that. The algorithm suggestion was the video where we lost Ripley. I wonder why that is. Maybe because it's been about a year since I made that video? That's weird. Um, okay, Black Sapphire sent five dollars and says blueberry time. Okay, we will... Where did the blueberries go? Tupac has them. Maeve, would you like a blueberry? Or are you going to drop it on the floor? And she threw it across the couch. Great. You want it too far? Are you guys full now? Okay. Blueberry time. We got blueberries. Um, John Kaminsky. Kosminsky says hope you get enough tonight and he sent five ninety nine or not five ninety nine sorry four ninety nine uh, thank you so much John I hope we do too if we don't we'll do another one next week I think I'm pretty confident we can get it beforehand but um the problem is I won't even okay no you're not gonna do that you're gonna spill them all inside the couch and it's gonna be gross come here why don't you say hi to everybody? You wanna look at come look at my phone. I know how much you like that. You wanna come look at it? Okay. Um yeah, we should be able to get enough before I leave to go get her, but the problem is YouTube's not gonna pay out until like I need to move the camera down a bit so you guys can see Maeve when she jumps down here. I will in a second. Um, but the problem is that YouTube's not going to even pay out until after I already have her. So I'm dipping into my own stuff to go get her. Um, trying to throw some money together. And then we might have to live a little frugally for a couple weeks until we, until we get her here. Or until YouTube pays out properly. But it should be fine. Um, I'm trying to... Well, I'm doing the trip very frugally and quickly, so... I'm just flying there, picking her up, and coming back. I'm just taking, I'm taking an Uber to the hotel. I'm crossing my fingers that the Uber will let me <laughs> bring the bird in the car back to the airport. I, I don't see any reason why they want it since she's in a carrier. But um, we're flying back. I'm not driving to San Francisco. I drove to get Tupac last year, and it was, it was a long, long drive, and especially for a bird, it's stressful to be in a carrier for like 20 27 hours to get back home so um i just think it's better for her to be in a carrier for a few hours a couple hours on a plane than 20 something hours in a car especially since she's more energetic than than tupac was so um the new bird is a girl yes Okay, you give your bananas a sniff. That's from XX, and that was five dollars. I guess is that euro? I don't know. <laughs> I think that's euro. Thank you so much. 
At least that like roughly translates the same to U.S. dollars. Captain Kirk. No, I'm not gonna name her Captain Kirk. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sniffing birds. Won't, won't, we'll have to. Yeah, they said to give. Wait, who said to give them a sniff? Oh, give your bananas a sniff. Yeah. I'll give Tupac a sniff. Okay, yeah, he still smells pretty good. We're good. He was like, what are you doing, dude? What's wrong with you? We're caught up on Super Chats now, thankfully. I'm trying to read all the names here. Tupac is such a chill burb. Yeah, he is. And f and f Can you stop dropping that on the ground? Good lord. You're not getting any more blueberries tonight. I don't know why you're acting like you want them so much. Oh, I'm gonna, I, told, I said I was going to move the camera down a bit. Let me do that. Maybe likes to jump on the bottom of the couch there. So... That should be good. Okay, right, can you not spill coke everywhere? Ugh. Okay, give me a second, guys, because I gotta get a towel now. <laughs> Wipe up the coke here before it gets sticky on the couch. Hold on. Are you into coke cans now? You never were for a video, and now you're all of a sudden into them. <clears throat> Ripley loved coke cans, so oh, we got a nice poop here on the back of the couch. Hold on. Okay, I think we're good now. got another coke we're going to go this is not for you are you going to actually eat that blueberry eat it okay nope she dropped on the ground okay hey can you stop come here get out of there Okay, we're putting that on the ground. No more. You are wacky. Come here. Come say hi to everybody. Can you, like, love me for five seconds? Can you love me for five seconds? No? <laughs> okay, I'm hearing super chats rolling in. Are all Red Bills so energetic? All two cans are energetic like Maeve. Go look at videos of Ripley. She's exactly the same. It's just Tupac because of his health issues that he's like that. Usually they're like this. They're off the rails. The new one will probably be like this too. But maybe you guys can play together, huh? You want a little friend to play with? Would you be happy to have a little girlfriend? You want to play with my hoodie? Okay. We're going to read the super chats. You want to read them with me? Let's get back up to the last one. Um, I think this, yeah, Mary Ann Lynch. That was the last one we didn't read. Um, she says, I love your channel. Please give Tupac a head scratch for me. Good luck with your nonprofit. Thank you, Mary. She sent $4.99. Um, the nonprofit is like I said it's gonna have to be put on hold for a little while until we get until we get this new bird but I'm working on it because I want to I want you guys to be able to write anything you donate off 
on your taxes and make it a little easier for you. And stuff like that. So I just think I think it would be really beneficial to the viewers personally. And that's the main reason why I want to do it. So um Shamel570 says sending love to the banana fam. And they sent $4.99. Thank you so much, Shamel. Well, we have received all the love tonight. Trust me. Much love. Um, Miss oh, Neb. Neb sent $5 again. He says, this is from my other sparrow, Chicken Helicopter. <laughs> oh, I was going to name him Chicken Wing, but he flies so well, he hovers like a helicopter. Okay. I can see that. That's I like that. I like it better than Chicken Wing. Chicken Helicopter. Wow. You want to be a Chicken Helicopter, Maeve? Can you guys see Maeve? And her little... Well, now you can probably see her. Um... Maeve is all over the place. Yes, she is. Yeah, many of you guys have guessed the name. I'm not going to confirm which name it is, though. Have you put a down payment on a phone yet? I feel like you're going to need it. I just bought this phone. I really hope that I do not need a new one anytime soon, because I just got this one. <laughs> I really like it, too. This is one of my favorite phones by far that I've had. I got the I got the Note 10 Plus and I've been really happy with it. So um, HS says, how's your health, Brock? You mentioned last time you need an MRI, stay healthy. Birds neither dad. Um, my doctors told me a while back that I need an MRI and I haven't been been able to afford to get one yet. I don't think it's it's not like it's not like a a, a crucial thing that I get one. It's more like a hey, we kind of want to do this just to see what's up. And there's nothing wrong with me. I mean, there's a lot wrong with me, don't get me wrong. Uh, even aside from the heart issues. <laughs> so, but, um, like, for those of you who don't know, I've had five open heart surgeries, and I have a lot of issues with my heart, specifically. Um, I have cardiologists in Oklahoma that I've, se I've, se I've been seeing since I was literally born. And um, they suggested a while back I get an MRI, but it was more... It wasn't like, a, oh, we need to do this because there's something wrong. It's more like, we may as well do this just to get a picture of what's going on. Because I used to get heart catheters that, uh, it's where they like stick a camera up your artery in your leg, basically. And those were a pain. But I think that um, they're able to just have do an MRI now and figure out what's wrong. So that's why they want to do it. But it's not anything too important. We'll, we'll, I'll get to it. Um, for now, the birds come first. And then when I get a chance, because i got to go all the way to Oklahoma to do it, and I don't want to leave the birds alone for too long. So i got to figure, I'll figure out something. Don't worry. I'll be all right. But thank you for asking. That's very kind. It's not Katniss. Uh, do you get all of our funds, or does YouTube keep some? YouTube does keep a percentage. I think it's 20 or 30 percent. Someone will have to confirm. Um... But they do keep a percentage. They do that with ad revenue, too, from the videos. So uh, I wish I got to keep all the ad revenue and all the super chats and all that. But two, or Tupac, YouTube keeps their share. I wish Tupac kept the share. That would be nice. Uh, Carrie C. sent $1.99. Happy New Year to my favorite flock. Thank you, Carrie. Really means a lot. Oh, yeah, I meant to mention, I got sick for the New I was going to do a stream on New Year's Day, and I got some kind of cold or I don't know. I don't know what it was, but my throat was like all messed up. So that's why we canceled the live stream and I apologize for that. I hope too many of, or not too many of you were here looking for it. <laughs> but David Stevens says, how much will the MRI cost? And he sent 650 USD, 499. I think that's euros. I could be wrong. Um, I don't know how much it's going to cost. I can't imagine it's going to be cheap, though. Uh, I, I don't know. It depends on what kind of... I'm switching insurance right now, so it depends on what kind of insurance I have. That I'm trying to specifically get insurance that's going to take, you know, 
take a good chunk of that when I go and do it. So uh, it's up in the air how much it's going to cost. I don't know. I, I imagine it's not going to be cheap. It's probably going to be a thousand, two thousand dollars or something. So, but we'll see. It's not. It's not an overly. They told me this a couple years back, so it's not. It's not an overly. Uh, time sensitive thing is what I'm trying to say. I'm sure my, my doctor's gonna be watching me on here talking about I don't need an MRI, let me drink this coke now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um Yeah, without health insurance they cost anywhere from three hundred to thirty five hundred. I can't remember what they told me. I think they told me it was gonna be around a, a thousand, but I have different health insurance now, or I'm going to have different health insurance. Um, was wondering how long does it take for Tupac's clipped wings to grow back enough for him to be able to fly again? You know, Toucan's wing feathers specifically, it takes them like a year to grow back. And the air just kicked on. Let me turn it off so it's not uh, bothering us in the microphone here. So hold that thought. I'm going to turn the whole air off, all the air off. Uh, okay, we should be, it should kick off here in a second. Uh, what was the question again? Oh, Tupac's wing feathers. Tupac's wing feathers are almost grown back all the way, but it takes two cans about a year to regrow them. So it's going to be the same with the new bird as well. So, and but Tupac's problem is I don't think he's ever going to be able to fly. I don't his pro he has arthritis or something like that. We're not going to know for sure until we go to this. We're going to the vet in like a week or two with with Tupac. Well, we I say we, but it's just going to be Tupac and I are going to the vet in Dallas to get him checked out. And I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him specifically, but I don't think that he's going to fly again. I think, I mean, as, as much as I hate to say it, I think he's probably going to be about how he is right now. Oh, crap. What happened to the camera? Hold on. All right, we're good. You gotta change the battery real quick. We're good now. Sorry guys. Um, as I was saying, I don't think Tupac is going to ever fly again. I think he's gonna probably be in pretty close to the same condition that he, hey, do not knock that over. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Are you being mischievous? Um, he's probably going to be in close to the same condition that he's in for the rest of his life. And unfortunately, if he does stay in that condition, which is one of the reasons why I'm really adamant about trying to get him more active and healthy as soon as possible, is if he stays in the condition he's in and the way that toucans eat, he's not going to live for that long and that's something I don't want to happen obviously so I want him to have as long and healthy life as possible and um, you know but he's had he's had a rough life and he's got a lot of issues that a toucan should not have and I don't know how it's going to affect him in the future but you know you guys need to be prepared for the worst when it comes to that so I know I am but I'm hoping hoping that he that there's a way that we can get him acting somewhat closer to what Maeve is, even if it's not flying, even if it's just hopping. There's a lot of stuff about him specifically that I haven't talked about because I don't want to freak people out that worries me about him. Um, there's just a lot wrong with him, you know? So, <clears throat> it's not just his, it's not just his ankles and, you know, how he had Bumblefoot and all that a while back. 
it's there's a lot there's just a lot wrong with him you know I can't put it any other way I mean aside from him just not moving and he can't fly his beak has issues still um, I'm gonna get his beak tested for a fungal infection because it's still not completely healing like I think it should be I mean we got most of that dry rotting keratin off the unhealthy stuff but even still it's not like there's still some flakes here that need to grow back and he's such a sweetheart but he's not he's not well and he needs a lot of help and if he didn't have someone watching after him 24 7 I don't know how long he would last I really I have no idea how he lasted this long <laughs> honestly but you know he's got he had that infection in his hocks his ankles back here he one of his toes is like grown upside down. He has some weird, I don't want to say for certainty that this is the case, but the way that his like belly sits and the way that he kind of sits as a whole, where it's like kind of, it's almost like he has a beer belly, if that makes sense. But it's in such a way where it makes me think that his organs are not in the proper place that they should be. Because look how Maeve sits compared to him. See how he sits so bottom heavy? See how she's like forward like that? And like slender looking? And he just, he kind of looks like he has a belly to him. That's not right. And there's just a lot of stuff like that that I suspect that maybe he fell at some point and they didn't realize that he fell. And maybe he broke some bones or I don't know, or his toe, his toe is definitely broken at some point, because it's like healed upside down, like his nail goes like this, it goes upwards, so, I don't know, you know, it's, it's concerning to me, and it's not just his legs that he can't move very well, because his wings don't really flap very fast either, so, and they're kind of situated weird, like one wing is like, sits up a little bit higher than it should, and they're kind of lopsided, and he's kind of pigeon-toed, which, I mean, I know they're birds, and they're kind of pigeon-toed to begin with, but he's to, he's not, he doesn't sit to the extent like he should. His nostril's still clogged up. we got to get that cleared out. You know, I don't know. I'm concerned about him, but I, don't, I haven't made a video on it yet because I don't want to, everyone's been asking for health updates on Tupac, and I don't want to freak anybody out with knowing anything for certain. So, of course, now I'm probably going to freak everybody out, so... But there's just, a, like, his tail sits weird, like, it's, like, lower than it should be, and there's just a lot of stuff that's just off with him that's not very toucan-like. But he's such, he's such a good boy, though, you know? But he needs a lot of help. Don't you, buddy? Maeve doesn't need, Maeve needs help, but it, she needs mental help. <laughs> she needs a therapist or something. She needs some ADD meds, so she chills out. But let's, uh... Let's try to look at the super chats again. Um, sorry if I freaked anybody out. Yeah, Maeve didn't make the camera black out. The, the battery just died. Is Maeve still growing? Yes, she is. She's still growing. She'll probably grow for another half year to a year. Hard to say. Um, with tocos, it's, they usually don't get grown. Compl I mean, they don't reach sexual maturity until two regardless, but they don't grow in their bodies and beaks completely until like a year and a half to two years old. So it, it depends on the bird though. So, um, she'll be that, will you be able to take the rescue bird inside the plane's cabin with you or will she have to be in cargo? She'll be in the cabin with me. So she won't be in the cargo. I think it's probably way too cold to have them in cargo right now. Um, Fennec, Kajita, Kitsun, hope I, hope I said that right, sent $5, and they say, I'm so excited for the new bird and you starting your own nonprofit. Keep caring for yourself, and I hope you can adopt her soon. Thank you. That means a lot. And it will be soon. Trust me. It'll be more, it's going to be more soon than you think. So, when we get the new bird, excuse me, sorry, I'm getting all gassy now because I have have this coke. Now I'm going to drink some more and start burping more. Um, so 
So when we get the new bird, I'm going to have to have her quarantined away from Maeve and Tupac for probably about a month, depending on how her, I'm going to take her immediately to the vet when I get her back. But depending on how she looks as far as uh, cultures and stuff goes at the vet, it's going to be dependent on, you know, uh, how long she's got to stay in a quarantine. But if there's, I suspect that the bird might have been smuggled from the wild at some point in its life. <clears throat> I don't, I won't be able to confirm that for with absolute certainty, but if it comes back with like parasites or anything and it's, and it's, uh, poop or stuff like that, that's not typical of a captive bird, we have a better idea, but it's likely that that's happened. So if it has happened that way, I don't want to mix her in with Maeve or Tupac and accidentally give them, especially not Tupac when he's the way he is, because, you know, his immune system's probably not as good as Maeve's. So, she won't be able to be in videos normally for about a month after I get her. But you guys will know when I get her, and we'll do a video, of course, and we'll do a vlog when I'm in San Francisco and all that kind of stuff. So, you'll see her. It's, not, it's just not going to be mixed up. We'll do a first meeting video with other birds, but it's going to be longer to do a first meeting than it was for just Tupac and Maeve. Because I knew, I knew Maeve was healthy. She's a new bird, fresh out of the egg. No problems there, but... But, um, yeah, that's about it. Let's see what else we got. Connor McManamy. Just Connor is fine, he says. Uh, GBP to USD is 1 to 1.3. I don't know what the name is, but Perla, the bride's daughter, actress, actress, uh, would be nice, would be a nice one too, I think. Enamel pins as merch would be great in time. Yes, we will get... We'll get enamel pins at some point. Um, with a lot of this kind of stuff, we need to build the audience up a little bit. Like, it would be nice to have plushes of the birds in the future. But in order to, like, get those made, we have to have enough of an audience that would have a big enough dema demand to purchase them. Or otherwise, they're not going to, you know, it's not worth making them. So, but in time, we will do it. <clears throat> Thank you, Connor. Yeah, flight muscles are probably atrophy. That's that's a possibility. Um, I, it's a possibility that if he doesn't have arthritis, that a lot of his muscles have atrophied. So, but it's hard to say because I've I've gotten him moving a lot, and that's one of the reasons I have his food away so that he's forced to move. And he he doesn't move like a lot more than he used to when I first got him. And he's almost been with me for a year, and he hasn't improved as far as movement goes. Really, I mean, he has a little bit, but not exponentially. So. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, guys. You know, we'll... I don't know what to do about Tupac. We'll see. We'll see what happens, you know? Um, K-Dubs Vlogs. I love how you're helping the toucans. And they sent $2. Thank you, K-Dubs. Any relation to I-Dubs? Teasing. But thank you so much. We're getting so many super chats today. It's it's insane. It is absolutely insane. Um, maybe we can do what we need to do next time after we get the new bird is start trying to work on getting new facilities and stuff. That's another reason I'm doing the nonprofit. So, because I want to be able to live like in a place that has facilities for toucan specifically that I have built there. That would be a one-stop shop for us both so that I can feel comfortable that they're there and I can stay there and take care of them properly without any worries. So that's the ultimate goal. Maybe we'll work on that after that. But that's, that's certainly the goal to Patreon. And if you, if you donate on Patreon, that it helps with us being able to do that. So, and of course, the more viewers we get, you know, it helps as well, but Patreon helps specifically because it is actually an income I can rely on and say, okay, each month I'm going to have X amount to spend on this. But with YouTube, it's kind of up in the air who's going to view the video or not or who's going to send in chats like this. So you never know for sure. But Lindsay Eden says, love your passion and care for your animals. I hope that you can give them the best life you can. You're a wonderful, wonderful bird dad. Thank you, Lindsay. That means a lot. I try my best. Uh, I think they have a pretty decent life. 
I wouldn't mind being them. I think that's the that's the ultimate goal, right? Is if you say, you know what? If I were if I were that bird, I wouldn't mind being it. You know, that's what I want to be able to say. So wouldn't be a bad thing to be a bird. Uh, Neb again. This is from my green cheek on here. Mo Moki? Mochi? Am I saying that right? Mochi or Moki? But she sent $2 again. Thank you so much, Miss Nebulosity. Running with those super... She's keeping the train going today. We've gotten a lot of big donations, but she's been helping keep the train going. Um... Patricia McCoy. I'm definitely going to read her comment because she's a supporter of Patreon, or Patreon. She says, my heart goes out to Tupac. It's current events. And that Australia fires make me sad. It does make me sad as well. I wish there was more I could do for Australia. Australia, is, Australia specifically means a lot to me because, you know, I, one of the reasons I became so passionate about animals is because of Steve Irwin. And... As a kid, I always wanted to, like, marry an Australian girl and stuff like that. So I've always had a fascination with Australia. Not that I don't want to now. Wink, wink, slide my DMs. No, I'm just kidding. But um, I've always had a fascination with Australia and Africa and South America. And so it makes me so sad, and especially seeing some of the Irwins talk about it, you know. I can't believe it really, you know, how much stuff is just on fire lately, you know, that's just I, it's climate change, man, people need to take it more seriously, and it's hard, any one person can't really make a huge difference, you know, and if they don't have a platform to speak from, but, you know, it, it really takes a collective conscience to do it, so, I'm, I don't know, man, I hope Australia gets better, though. I know some people there. Maybe's, maybe is. What are you doing? She's back at that zipper again. Um, let's get caught up on Super Chats. Jeff Johnson sent $50. Thank you so much, Jeff. My middle name is Jeff, believe it or not. Oh, my, well, yeah. My dad's name is Jeff, too. Um, but he says, from Jingles the Green Cheek Conyer, thanks for being so good to your birds and making interesting content. Thank you, Jeff. I'm glad my content's actually interesting because there are times when I'm editing and I'm like, this is just not working. This doesn't seem interesting at all. And then everyone likes it. And I'm like, okay, well, I think I'm just overly critical of my own stuff. That's probably what it is. But thank you so much, Jeff. Australian girlfriend hype. <laughs> that would be a little difficult in America. That's the problem. Um... Andy Z says, I'm sewing an egg while watching and listening. And Andy sent $2. Thank you, Andy. I don't know how you sew an egg. Maybe that can be explained to me. Is it like, maybe it's uh, like crochet or something? Anyways. Um, okay, we're going to read through the comments a little bit in the meantime. While we don't have super chats. Uh, Patricia says, thanks for responding. Did you hear any news about toucans in the Amazon fires last year? I didn't hear, you know, I, I, I didn't hear anything specific about toucans. I did see some photos of a lot of toucans fleeing the fires specifically and taking up residency in the cities more often. So I think a lot of them escaped. I think a lot of the birds probably escaped pretty easily, you know. I think the animals that really suffered were the ones that can't just simply fly off when they want to. I'm sure the toucans were like, huh, all right, see you later, out of here. We're going to go somewhere else. But, uh, you know, what are you doing? hope you guys can see Maeve down here. She keeps trying to dig in my pocket for some reason. All right, what is that, a rivet? You want the rivet? Um, what else we got? But yeah, I did see some photos. I almost did a video on the Amazon fires, but I was afraid that people would think that I was just trying to chase clout or exposure or whatever from it and take advantage of the situation, which I didn't want to do at all. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want people to think I'm taking advantage of any sort of tragedy to get viewership. So I just left it alone. But I did, I did see some photos I thought were interesting of toucans 
fleeing the fires. So I would say that probably a majority of them got out and that maybe, maybe the babies, cause it was, it was during the breeding season. There might've been babies and stuff in the trees or, but you never know. They grow so quickly that they're out of the nest in a, in a couple weeks. So, you know, probably not even that probably, well, maybe like two or three weeks they're out of the nest and they're fledging they're able to fly. So, you know, I would say probably the majority of them escaped, but who knows for certain, you know, I don't think there was ever any death toll or anything that I saw, but I was happy to see that there was a lot fleeing. So, um, Darian says, uh, Brock, you've hit the YouTube sweet spot. You're doing a live chat when you have good Americans and drunk folks from the rest of the world who will do, donate money. <laughs> you know, uh, that's something I thought about when I was doing the New Year's stream. Is uh, I was like, I should do one on New Year's Day because... Uh, okay, nope. Okay, we're good. I'm making sure nobody bit, bit each other. Um, but I was like, yeah, we should do one on New Year's Day because everyone's going to be hung over and they're going to need something to do. And I was like, that's where I'll come in and rescue them. <laughs> so that was the original idea for that, at least. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Australia's wildlife, I think, may have gotten hit, and hit worse than... Brazil's, but I'm not, I'm not certain about that. Yeah. Darian says, but how do people say climate change doesn't exist? We have a whole continent on fire in our lifetimes. That's a really good point if you think about it. It's like, um, not only is Australia on fire, but Brazil's on, Brazil was on fire. Well, Brazil was on fire mainly because of the agricultural agricultural stuff but you know regardless it has to do with people screwing the environment up and uh doing messing with things they shouldn't so people overextend their boundaries a little bit too much uh let's see update the donation tracker Mr. Hey, can you guys not fight right now? Especially not on stream. <laughs> usually, usually Tupac doesn't fight, but he will chase Maeve off. He'll grab at her and she'll and she'll squeal, and she'll fly off, and that's about how it goes. And that's typical. That's typical for toucans, though. They uh, they they fence with their bills a lot, and that's that's part of their social structure. Maeve's, Maeve's pushing her boundaries. She's getting a little confident. She wants to, she wants to try and work her way up the, the pecking order. So, and she's probably, I mean, she's probably just being a little playful too. She wants to be around Tupac, but Tupac's not a huge fan of her. <laughs> and Tupac, Tupac's not used to being around other animals. So, oh, but Miss Miss Nebulosity says update donation tracker donation train. I will update the donation tracker in a second. Uh, Darian again sent two dollars or two euros. Thanks again, Darian. I, I read some of those comments earlier. Um, TKL two twenty two again hopping on the train five dollars. Thank you, TKL. Um, Madrip Madrip Peter, Peterson. I hope I said your first name right. Mabrit or Majbrit? I think that's Denmark, right? 100, 100 in Denmark dollars? I don't know what that is to US dollars, but thank you so much. Doesn't matter. Still as still good. Uh, what else we got? Okay, we're good. We're caught up on the... I need to make sure that we don't have... Uh, wow, we got a lot of new patrons, actually. Let's read those off. Um, we got Salvatore Vela for one dollar. Thank you so much, uh, David Stevens for fifteen. Wow, David, thank you. 
if you're on, I'm assuming you guys are on stream. It's not a coincidence that this all happened at once. Uh, Carrie M. Cook, $15 again. Thank you. And then Elise Sikora, $10. Wow. That's, that, see, it's just, it's the stuff on Patreon. It's like, okay, it's just a dollar. It's just $10. It's not that much, but it adds up for me and it really helps us out. Like, it makes a difference. Trust me. And you guys get cool updates and stuff on there. And, uh, I don't know. That's, that's how I've gotten to know a lot of you too. And it's just from that. I recognize your names from, I type them up so much in the credits at the end of each video. So when you type in super chat, I, I recognize your name. And it helps it helps me get to know you as well because there's so many of you. What are you doing? Oh, Maeve's being cuddly now. Oh, never mind. That was short lived. Um, I think we're caught up now on the super chats. Um, let's uh. Maeve looks peeved. Uh, I don't think she's peeved. She's just, she's being playful. She's, she's still in the phase in her life where they test their boundaries and see what they can get away with. And, I mean, that's kind of a toucan's life period anyway, so. Are you wanting to get down? Or are you just wanting to get close to me? Here. We need to update the, uh, we need to update the tracker though. Hold on. Uh, we need to add, give me a sec. Okay, we've made like 400 more since the last time. So we need to add like, mm, like 300 maybe? How do you donate without deductions? Uh, through GoFundMe, I think. Well, I don't think GoFundMe, if they take some, it's not that much. GoFundMe is the best. Or you can do PayPal. PayPal is in the uh, description as well. I think, yeah. I think it's a donation link now, but I'm not sure. Um, let's go. Let me add some to the thing real quick. I'll add 300 more. Tupac and uh, Pellet here. I think he wants some. You want, you want to come down, buddy? Come here. Right here. Look, and I'll bring the pellets to you. How about that? So everyone can see us. So. Here you go, buddy. Everyone's probably looking at my butt now. Okay. We have, we have some poops to clean up. Hold on. One there. Oh, man. This is another reason why uh, definitely when I move, I am going to set the house up to accommodate cleaning poop easier and get a different couch. Because, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm a little, I've always been a little bit of a germaphobe <laughs> since I was a kid, a little OCD germaphobe. And even though I have birds living in my house, I cannot stand poop and mess and clutter. And it's like an obsessive thing for me to try to clean up 24-7. Hey, you're dropping pellets everywhere, buddy. Okay. All right, let's check the chat again. Um, <clears throat> where, where, 
is the thing? Well, how, how am I missing it? Oh, here we go. Um, Matthew York sent uh, two Canadian dollars. Thank you, Matthew. No message. Forrest Nutter said, love what you're doing. He sent 25. Thank you, Forrest. $25. That's good. Thank you. Um, all right, did I answer the question about deductions? Let's see here. Did I already read that comment? I can't remember now. If I did, sorry. Well, you, you heard it again. Uh, Squishy Bird. Five dollars says you're amazing. I've enjoyed watching your flock grow over the past couple of years. Love to you from Claire, the human, and Squishy. Then uh, Nan de Conier. Thank you, Squishy. And Claire. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta watch Maeve every five seconds. Make sure she's not breaking anything. Uh, Andy Z says I'll donate more to offset the bar. Also, it's an egg plushie. Okay, interesting. Good luck with your egg, Andy. Thank you for the five dollars. Um, Bree Bardoner says assembled on your channel last week and don't know anything about birds, but now I'm a fan. Thanks to your genuine and informative vids. If toucans weren't real, what animal would you love to have? That's a good question. Uh, but they sent nine ninety nine. What animal would I love to have? If toucans weren't real, I'd probably still have some kind of bird. I mean, I had I had parrots before I had toucans. Um, I had budgerigars and stuff. I may have just pooped in the same exact spot as a second ago. What animal would I have if not a toucan? Well, I'll tell you what animals I've had in the past. I've had a lot of snakes. Um, I kept snakes for a while before I really started. When I was a kid, before I was like really committed to birds more, I kept snakes. So I really like snakes, but I don't keep them now because I don't want to risk mixing any predators and prey. And that includes both because uh, a toucan, toucans kill and eat snakes in the wild. And, you know, snakes can also kill and eat toucans. So it just doesn't seem like a good idea to me to have the mix. I don't, I don't, I know some people have houses with dogs and cats mixed with birds, but I've just... I try to stay away from that. I just want to stick to the toucans. But I'd probably have some kind of bird. Probably a parrot of some sort. Uh, when, I was, when I was a kid, I, I really wanted to get a falconer's license and get like a, a peregrine falcon or something. I like birds of prey a lot. I don't know. It's a good question. I guess I would want something a little crazier than a parrot. So I, might, I would probably end up getting some sort of bird of prey, I would think. So, I don't know. I think that I think that's about right, though. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Neb again. What's your favorite type of dinosaur? Not birds. My favorite type of dinosaur is a toucan. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, well, not kidding. But if we're not including all birds, then I would say. I don't know. Probably cliche, but maybe Tyrannosaurus or like a Utah Raptor or Deinonychus or something like that. Maybe Microraptor or Velociraptor. I really, I like the raptors. I, I like uh, Dromaeosaurs in general. So uh, I like that period where the raptors had feathers and act like acted like birds. They were really like there so so I'd, I'd probably say that I always wanted to get a little replica skeleton of a micro raptor or something like that to have it as a comparison to a bird skeleton but maybe in the future um, but yeah I do find them really fascinating and just that period fascinating so um, what else do we got? I can't believe we've kept over 300 viewers this whole time. How long have we been live for? Like two hours? Yeah. That's crazy. You guys are awesome. 
Um, <laughs> may have pooped in the exact same spot. Don't, don't human beings do that every day? You know, that's a good point. That is a good point. They do do that. Do do. They do do that. Get it? Because it's poop. Hold on. Maybe it's suddenly fascinated with the trash can over here. Oh crap, I almost dropped that. Um, what's my favorite mythical animal? I don't know. I don't really care for mythical stuff. What are, what are, dra dragon maybe? Dragon, I guess? I don't know. I don't really, I don't really do mythical stuff that much. But I can, dra dragons are kind of cool, I guess. They're kind of like dinosaur bird thingies. Slash pterosaurs, I don't know. I'm watching Maeve over here mess with everything, probably break everything. Uh, DML says, or sent three ninety nine just now. It says sorry, I know it's not much. I still hope it helps. Every bit helps. Do not feel bad at all. Thank you so much, D. Um, Archaeopteryx is still considered a dinosaur due to not having a true beak from Les or Ed. Well. Yeah, I guess that, well, they're, they're saying now that, that the difference between <clears throat> birds and dinosaurs, like theropods, were avian and non-avian dinosaurs. So dinosaurs would be, well, dinosaurs as we traditionally know them from way back when, would be non-avian dinosaurs, and then the birds we have now would be avian dinosaurs. But I don't know about the whole, I don't know about Archaeopteryx, though. Uh, I would I would assume if it's I don't know if it's is it technically a theropod I don't know because it had four wings. I think that's I don't know I haven't read too much about Archaeopteryx though. Maybe somebody else maybe somebody else here is. Um, would better educate us on that. If if I see something in the chat about it I'll read it. Uh, Carrie C sent nine ninety nine says happy clicking noising happy clicking noises. Watching you, uh, Tupac and Maeve. This is two e e, but I think they mean Tupac and Maeve. It's a big help to get me through the grief of losing our Heidi girl doggo who left us without warning literally an hour and ten minutes after Christmas. Thanks, B. Carrie, I'm so sorry for your loss um, and to hear about your doggo. Um, I'm sure she meant a lot to you, but I'm glad that we can help you in some sort of capacity, and uh, we'll be thinking about you. Um, so sorry to hear about Heidi, though. I know I know what it's like. We lost I lost Ripley about this time last year. It was January 1st of last year, so I know how you feel. I know how you feel. We're there with you. Um, what else do we got? Uh, Darian again. He says, "This is remaining everyone." Or is it remain? Or remind? I think there's a typo. Everyone of the Choo Choo Donate train tonight. Reminding, reminding. I think is what he's trying to say. Reminding everyone of the Choo Choo Donate train tonight. Damn, I just wrote Choo Choo. I'm turning into Ralph Wiggum in my old age. <laughs> You know what? What I wouldn't give to be Ralph Wiggum, you know? Just uh, completely oblivious to the horrible things of the world. <laughs> Sometimes I envy that. <laughs> what else do we got here? Um, will your new place have a patio aviary? I mean, yeah. I want to have all kinds of stuff like that. My my ideal situation would be something like that, where it's like a, what do they call that? Like a screened-in patio, but with the top not completely covered, where it's like has a netting or whatever, maybe zoom mesh or something at the top, so the sun can still get in through the top, or maybe have part of it shaded and part of it out in the sun. And then have it where I can open a window and let the birds outside during the day if they want to go outside. Kind of like a doggy door, but for birds, where they can go out and get in the sun and get some fresh air if they want to. 
And then I can go sit out there if I want to as well. So I want to have something like that for the birds that are inside where there's an outdoor aviary that's like communal where they can go out there whenever they want to. Because I think it's really important for toucans to get sunlight and I want them to have the option to do it whenever they want. As a matter of fact, this if I, if I don't feel like I'm going to be moving out of here within a year, I'm probably going to build something like that on my back patio temporarily just so they can get some good sunlight. So that's definitely something I want to do. And then I want to have like actual rows of flights outside that birds can stay in permanently that aren't suitable to be, you know, in an environment that involves humans like all the time. Like they're more suited to be with their own kind, you know, more skittish wild birds. So it'd be cool. And it'd be cool too if we could find I don't know if this is even possible, but if we could find the birds that were smuggled, like the keelbill toucans, and maybe send them down to Costa Rica to be rehabilitated and reintroduced into the wild. I don't know if it's even possible, because they've been so adapted to humans, but I'm not a wildlife rehabilitator. You know, I don't, re I don't release. It's, it's all companion birds and stuff like that. But, um, our captive red birds, and, um... But it would be, if it's possible, it'd be really cool to do something like that. I'd really love to get them back where they belong if they were from the wild originally and they were stolen from there. So, I don't know if it's even possible though, you know, between um, importation laws and, and stuff like that and then the logistics of having a bird that's used to people now being released into the wild, you know, because they can go and go up to people in the wild and then end up back in the same situation so or end up killed or something you know so i don't know that'd be really cool though let's um continue here wait did we just get a yeah wait did we just get a 50 dollar super chat why don't i see the thing here I'll read it. I don't remember reading this, but I'll read it again just in case. I don't know why it's not showing up in my feed like normal. But it's from Jeff Johnson. And unless this is from earlier and I'm just having a brain fart. From Jingles the Green Cheek Conyer, thanks for being so good to your birds and making interesting content. I think I read that before. I'm not sure. But if I haven't, thank you, Jeff. I know I remember his name. So. Um. Try to see what else you guys are talking about right now. Screen, yeah, like a screen sunroom. Um, Carrie C is saying, thanks Brock and Co. I know losing Ripley was awful, but I swear it was seeing how you slash he pushed through the grief and how he's helped Tupac and raising young Maeve helps a lot. It does help a lot. I don't think if, if I hadn't lost Ripley, I wouldn't have been more motivated to opening my arms to like, you know, needy toucans. I think I was like in a state where I was just kind of content having Rip, just Ripley and I, excuse me. So like, Toucan TV as we know it today, in a weird way, wouldn't even exist if not for Ripley passing. So it wouldn't, and not only would it not exist without Ripley, but if she hadn't passed, it wouldn't, you know, Maeve and Tupac wouldn't have homes with me at least. I don't know where they'd be, but they wouldn't be with me. So, <clears throat> um, that's a good point. But thank, thanks for the comment, Carrie. Um, I can't believe we're still getting super chats. I, I keep wanting to say, okay, let's wind down here. Uh, some people have left, but we still have 299 people in the watching right now. So, oh, here we go. Archaeopteryx again. Archaeopteryx has apparently more characteristics in common with small theropods, um, predatory dinosaurs than birds. Apparently, and while, and while it could potentially fly, it would do so differently to birds. 
Yeah, I, I, I did hear that too. But they do have, they were, they were trying to figure out the whole flight thing back then. I, re I did read an interesting theory about how flight evolved from s small theropods or even large ones like uh, Deinonychus and Utah Raptor and all that. They were pretty big. But basically, like, they grew these, they grew these feathers over time, you know, like a bird, like normal. And they would use their, their sickle claws weren't killing claws like people think, or like you think in Jurassic Park where they kill with it, or they jump at it with it. They would use it to anchor themselves to larger prey, and then they would use their wings to balance like flap and balance while they were trying to kill the prey and it wasn't for flight it was for stability while they're killing their prey basically and then eventually they were like hmm we can get smaller and fly and get away from all these predators and eat smaller animals and be good and that's that's how birds came about basically that's what i basically what i've read which i think is really neat And now there's all kinds of weird diversities, so. Um, <laughs> Darian says, uh, Americans are being polite, pleasant, and generous people. Drunks in Europe, parentheses me, are donated to look after gorgeous animals. <laughs> uh, we have plenty of drunks here in America, too, so, you know. We need to do, we need to do a live stream. We need to do a drinking live stream sometime. Maybe not too much. I don't want to drink too much with birds out, but that would be kind of fun. Maybe on a maybe on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, let's see. Kristen C. Says, just a little something for your future bird baby. Much love and blessings. Keep up the amazing work. We're all rooting for you. Thank you, Kristen. She sent $5. How old is Tupac? Tupac is 16 years old. So, but toucans can live up to 30, if not more. Hard to say because toucans haven't really been in captivity that long, and especially not with proper care. So, but the oldest living toucan, I think, in captivity was about 30 years old. And they just died recently, from what I've heard. So Tupac, Tupac even though he is one of the oldest toucans currently in captivity, is not, he's not that old, comparatively speaking. He's like middle-aged, really. But he has a lot of problems because of past neglect, not because of his age. So, um, Yeah, make sure to have two types of fencing. A lot of people lose their birds to hawks and eagles, but the two fence system with the outer one being stronger, stronger, bleh, can't read, stronger one seems to work. Yeah, I've, I've been reading about that as well. I don't know when we would move into having... Um, outdoor birds that's that's in the future that's that's got to be at least a few years in the future a couple of years in the future we'll have to move up there but i was thinking it would be super cool if in the future if we do that we have all, all birds outside we could have webcams set up out there that cycle through each enclosure and have a constant like 24 hour stream on twitch or something so you guys can see the birds outside whenever you want i think that would be super cool but we'll see Um, what else? We just got another super chat, I think. TKL222 again. Um, says, after Ripley died, I didn't think I could watch anymore, but I got to experience the same emotions through you as you worked through your grief and then rehabilitating Tupac and adopting me. Thank you for letting us in. And thank you for sticking with me because um, we actually, we lost quite a few viewers after Ripley passed away, unfortunately. And I've kind of had to build the channel back up again uh, after, I mean, just this past year, after we got Tupac. And can I can either convince people to come back or get new viewers. Like, there's, a, there's almost a completely new set of viewers now. Some people, I mean, there's a good bit that have carried over, but for some reason, people just stopped watching afterwards, which I thought was kind of strange, so... Um, I always intended the channel to be generally about toucans and not just Ripley. So, I know a lot of people have channels that are just for the specific animal, but I wanted it to be more about toucans 
and that's why I'm re that's why I ended up doing Toucan TV instead of uh, just Ripley the Toucan back then. Like I think I renamed it after the first year or something. It was it was way before Ripley passed away, but um, I just I wanted to be able to do documentaries and stuff originally on the channel about individual species and, and do stuff like we did at the aquarium and things like that about toucans and have it not just about Ripley specifically. So, you know, I mean, it, it worked out the way it did, I think, perfectly. I think it's really cool now, in hindsight, that we're going to have three different types of toucan species here. They're really the big three species. The most recognizable ones are toco, redbill, and keelbill. So, arguably, I think you could add in the chestnut bill or the chestnut mandibled toucan, or the, Sw the Swainson's toucan, it's more commonly called in America. But they are less uh, prominent in captivity now for whatever reason. So, but thank you for sticking with with me, TKL. It really does mean a lot. For those of you who have stuck around through everything and grieved with me and everything, it's it's like we're a big family. So it's I think it's a really it's a bittersweet type of thing, you know. Um, Tony Merrifield says, "Hello, Lindsay." Okay, <laughs> maybe that's his girlfriend or something watching. If it is, holler holler at my boy Tony because he just spent three dollars trying to get your attention. <laughs> okay um and we're caught up now cool um a lot of people saying they found the channel through recommendations recently that's awesome yeah who's been here since ripley i'm just curious throw throw make a comment in the chat right now it'll, it'll take a while to catch up here because the stream is a little bit delayed but let me let me wait here. Let's see what happens. All the birds are starting to wind down now too. You getting sleepy, Maeve? We have two, three. Also inspired to make Tupac stuffed animal because he's so cute and cuddly. I I I'd love to have a Tupac plushie, one day. Now, there's a lot of people saying that they've been here since Ripley now. Maybe more than I thought. I don't know. I know it was it was harder to get the views back up after last last January or last February. So, and then we lost a lot of subscribers. Not only to, uh, all right, maybe he's going to get a drink now. Not only to like YouTube purging everything, but. Also, uh, just people leaving. But it's, it's fine. You know, it's fine. I, I completely understand people did that. But it is kind of suck. <laughs> A lot of people since Ripley, actually. Since Christmas Day 2018. Some, A lot of people saying they can make plushies. You know, I'd love to have one for myself. But, Carrie, yeah, Carrie's saying that they were here before Ripley, but never commented. Well, thank you for coming and commenting. There's a lot of people that have been here since Ripley, actually. Um, I mean, I'd like to have one for myself, you know. But to make them where other people can buy them, if, if someone's hand-making them, it just gets way too expensive. Like, it would be better if it was, like, like $20 or something. Or twenty thirty dollars for them to. Oh, Jason just showed up. What's up, Jason? Um, yeah, but I want to make them reasonably priced for people to buy them. Why is it not? Why is Jason's super chat not showing up here? Let me. Oh, we're, we need to refresh our little, our bar here, because I think we've gotten, let's see, we had 1,400 last time, and now we're up to 1,524, so we need to add, like, maybe 80 more dollars. 
or maybe 90. We should be at 1490 by now. I'm trying to see what Jason's saying here. Uh, Jason sent $50. Thank you, Jason. Jason's a supporter on Patreon. He was here last time as well. Jason says, Shit, I'm late to the party. What's up, all? How are all the birds today? How are you, dude? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, we got hit by some storms. Pretty bad. Last, well, not too bad, actually. A lot, not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because I actually took the birds to my grandparents' house and waited the storm out there last night. But it ended up not being that bad. Like, it didn't even knock my trash can over. So, but we're good. Yeah, I'm glad you joined us. Um, thanks for the $50, bro. And you're not too late. We're still here. All the true fans are here now. We, we weeded out all the casuals. <laughs> I need to check GoFundMe and make sure that... Uh, make sure I didn't miss anything recently. Uh, we got one from Alo, Alo Wood. Alo Wood donated $50 and said, keep on helping out those two cans. I completely forgot to add all the GoFundMe stuff on, on the bar. So we need to add, what, $80 plus, uh, let's see. Plus a hundred, because we got a hundred on. We need to add 180 to the bar. Let me go do that real quick. Maybe's probably gonna follow me here. Uh, okay, 180. So we need to do Alright, let's get all these pellets down from here. I'm trying not to show my butt crack or something stupid on stream here. So <laughs> I'm bending over. Okay, we had another super chat as well. Uh, but yeah, we should be updated now. 1580, we're good. Um... I think it's actually easier to use the dashboard on Streamlabs. Maybe that's why the donation ticker isn't working properly. We need to set up the Streamlabs uh, donation thing instead of the YouTube Super Chat. Huh. Okay, that's probably what it is. Um, RJS donated $2. It says CuddleClones.com for a plush pet clone. Yeah, but that doesn't help. Oh, well, maybe they... I don't know. Maybe if I could find an endorsement with one of these companies or a sponsorship, they would be able to do it on a large scale for cheaper. But I don't imagine that the Cuddle Clones thing is very cheap. It's not to an extent where, like, like buying something like this... Buying something like this, I mean, this was like $7 or something. I, I think I got this at the Dallas World Aquarium, actually. But you can get these on Amazon for like $7. Like, I would want something like this that's reasonably priced for you guys to get. And not something that's like $70, $100 or even more. Like, you want to fight this? Yeah, you do, don't you? Get it. Get it. Yeah, get it. Come here and show everybody. Come here. Show everybody you, how you scrap. There we go. Show them who's boss. You can bully this plush, but you can't bully Tupac. This is uh, how they fence in the wild here. It's, uh, it's a playful thing. I mean, it can get violent, but it's, it's still a, it's not a 
like I want to kill you type of thing. It's still playing. You want to, you want me to show you how you win? This is how you win the fight. <laughs> The bird that flies off is the loser, and the one that stands his ground is the winner. And that's how they determine who's who in their flock. And that's why Maeve is more hesitant to mess with Tupac, because she cannot push him away from where he is. He will chase her off way before. So she's hesitant to even come up to him, because she knows he is above her in her pecking order. So... So, guys, we have gotten 95 Super Chats today. 95! And made over $1,500. Of course, 30... I wonder what 30%... That would have been a better thing to calculate. Let's see what 30% of 1500 is. I don't, you know, I don't mess with math, so... I'm going to have to Google it. <laughs> um, that's $450. Wow, that sucks. So, we, I mean, we only made... We made we made a thousand and fifty, which is still a crap ton of money, but it kinda sucks that YouTube takes like four hundred and fifty dollars. But everything on screen should be updated now. Yeah. Wow. We're doing excellent guys. This is awesome. Um I'll keep going. I mean I I know you guys are probably getting tired and most people are probably leaving by now, but Yeah, four hundred and fifty dollars, Sandy says. Birds winding down. Yeah, they were winding down. Not anymore. Now Maeve's hiding up there. She knows she lost. Um, let's check the chats again. Uh, KH donated $19.99 and says... Starting watch, started watching when he first got Tupac. I love him so much. I hope the vet in Texas has some helpful suggestions. He deserves the best. Bless you for devoting yourself to caring for him. Thank you, KH. I could not... I say this with certainty. I could not care for Tupac without you guys. Trust me. Because I could not stay home with him constantly and make sure that he doesn't hurt himself. And make sure that he is able to feed himself and stuff if I had a normal job. So I really could not do this without you guys. Really. In more ways than one. <laughs> but cool. We're doing pretty well. So I wonder I wonder how much they take if it's twenty or thirty percent. I don't remember for cer for certain right now, but let's go back to some of the chats and see what's up. <laughs> Maeve hides after her shameful defeat. Yeah, she that's what she's doing. Not nah, Saturday, us night owls are still here. Yeah, I'm a night owl too, so We'll get, Carrie says next month I'll send uh, money via PayPal instead of Super Chats. But we'll, we'll, we're going to try to get this sorted before the next live stream. I'm going to work on it and see if I can get the donations going through uh, Streamlabs or whatever. Um, whatever the last suggestion was. Or DLive, that's it. Well, DLive is another platform though, isn't it? That's, that's what PewDiePie uses. I don't have the pool to get people to go over to DLive like PewDiePie is the problem. Like, if I if we did this stream on DLive, like, 20 people would show up, probably. <laughs> we had 300 and something earlier. But you know what? I'm saying that, like, our viewership on this particular live stream is dropping right now. But it's only dropped down to what the last live stream was. Because we had 300 and, like... 30 earlier and now it's 263 but last time we did a live stream 263 is what we had that was our high so we still have people chilling here and tuning in now we're at 271 um yeah gofundme is better than super chat but it's easier to it's easier to integrate super chat into this live stream it's more interactive unfortunately uh darian donated another five dollars says another donation to the ralph wiggum choo choo toucan train <laughs> i 
I'm helping. Are they going to be every month? The live streams, you mean? Connor is asking, are they going to be every month? I'm not sure if he's asking about live streams or not. Oh, maybe it's back to fighting this thing again. Are you back for more? You lose. Um, can you do live streams when it's a little earlier in Europe, or is the time gap too big? That's a good question. Um, you know, I might be able to do one, maybe next Saturday we'll do one around like noon my time. I don't know how much the time gap is. It depends on where you are in Europe. But maybe I'll do one around noon. Maybe, what are you doing? Maybe I'll do one around noon next time. Get a P.O. box. I'm, yeah, everyone's asking about P.O. box. I don't have a P.O. box, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, the stupid things cost like a few hundred dollars to open for one year. So, you know, I, I will eventually get one. But right now, I mean, that's like the entire trip to San Francisco is like the same price as opening the, the P.O. box. So I'm trying to balance what's more important right now. But we're, we're going to get a P.O. box at some point. Trust me. Um... Yeah, super chats are easy, and that's the only benefit of them. Google slash YouTube should be ashamed of themselves if they take more things away and made streaming less user-friendly. That might be true, but streaming probably wouldn't even exist in its current form without places like YouTube or Twitch. So YouTube sucks a lot of times, but you know they also provide people a platform, even if they are greedy and that kind of stuff. It does suck, and to me, at least, they shouldn't take anything from Super Chats, in my opinion. That just seems ridiculous, because they don't even do anything. At least at least with the ad revenue, they they pull the ads in, and, like, you know, they bring the ads in and negotiate prices per view and st all that kind of stuff, the CPM rates and all that kind of stuff. So they do something there, and then they host the video on the website, but... Like, this video will run with ads after it's done, so everyone can view it like a normal video. And they should just take the money from the ads. They shouldn't take money from Super Chats. That doesn't make any sense. That is weird. They don't do anything for it. Um, I mean, they do give us a platform, but still. Hey Australia, hope you're well. Who's in, who's in here from Australia? I preferred pre-Google YouTube. I think everybody did. But YouTube also took off to a huge extent with Google. So Brianna, Aaron, Brianna is a Patreon, I'm pretty sure. But she's saying YouTube's becoming a shell of its former self. And yeah. <sighs> You know, I don't know. Yeah, use if you guys want to do donations, use GoFundMe. I'm still getting the, I'm still getting the notifications on my phone. I can read your, your your comments on camera still or on the stream. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's so much. There's so many weird things with YouTube that uh financially it makes a lot of sense i mean it doesn't make a whole lot of sense the way they run it maybe they need to reform that a bit but there's also things like the fcc that need to be updated for modern uh streaming and stuff like that or modern content creators because like youtube is basically replacing reality tv now and then tv and movies are being replaced by netflix and stuff like that so you know I need to check the battery level on this because I only have one more battery <laughs> for this camera. Okay, we're still good. We still got two bars. We'll probably have to end the stream in the next half hour or so, though. Um, I don't understand why they disconnected Google Hangout from streaming. It was neat to have a bunch of folks able to join it, a stream and talk. I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, my girlfriend lives in Australia. I don't have a girlfriend, but 
if she's out there, tell her to let me know that I have one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a, a whole lot of girls that want to come hang out with a dude that lets birds crap all over their house. Maeve, what are you doing, you crazy thing? You just dropped on the floor. Did I just stick my arm in poop? No, I didn't. We're good. Um. Oh, we got some stuff on PayPal. Let me check those out. Hold on a sec. I forgot we had the PayPal thing up. Let's see if they have any comments. No comments. Okay. Um, so we got we got money on PayPal. We got twenty dollars from John. Uh, Ten dollars from another John. John C. Two John C's actually, but they're different last names. And then ten, $10 from Laura. I don't want to say their last names just in case they don't want that to be read out loud. But thank you guys if you're still watching. Yeah, John, John Krodick just donated $20 through PayPal. Thanks, John. I got it. Um, Yeah, that was an attempted assassination of the toucan toy. <laughs> I haven't noticed. I know, I know this girls. Trust me. HS says uh, I'm a great guy, but I probably haven't noticed girls because I'm busy with the birds. Yeah, I live. You know, I I don't live in the best town either for for weirdos like me. You know, I need to live in a weirdo town. With a bunch of freaking weirdos. So I can find a weirdo that likes my weird things, you know? Enigma's going. Good night, Enigma. Thank you for all the super chats and everything. Hope you have a good night. Everyone says they love men that love animals. And I say, oh, I love animals. And then they uh, see all the birds crapping around my house. They're like, oh, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> What I meant to say was, I like guys that like dogs and just the one dog that goes and poops outside. All right, we're getting more stuff on PayPal here. Every time I think the stream's winding down. Uh, Mary, $20 from Mary. No comment. I don't know if you can comment or not here. I'm just going to say your first name. I don't know if these people want their last name said, so I'm just going to say, ow. Thank you, Mary. For the twenty dollars, and PayPal doesn't take anything, so even though PayPal freaking sucks. Oh, I'm not a weirdo. Someone says I'm not a weirdo. Do you guys know I have two cans that live in my house, and I drive a Jurassic Park car? I'm kind of weird. I'm okay with being weird. It's not a bad thing. May have wants a rematch. She does. Yeah, I need to. I need to go to like Austin or. Los Angeles or some place where all the weirdos are. Even Dallas would have some weirdos, I bet. Yeah, I live I live in Louisiana. There's not Louisiana's pretty boring. Yeah, what if the girl also has birds and the, see here's the other problem is uh, even if you find a nice bird gor a, a nice bird girl a nice bird girl, if she has birds uh, my birds might try to eat her birds, so not you know. I don't know any toucan girls. I know all the toucan people already. I'm pretty sure. None of them, none of them are any close to my age. They're all a lot older usually, unless they get them and then they end up, they end up neglected somehow. <laughs> I'm trying to read. I'm trying to get caught up on everything. Everyone's saying, Maybe can you move your beak?" Now, birds crap all over my house, but I keep my house clean. I try to, at least. I will say that. Um, is 
is two cannon, my favorite Pokemon. I only I grew up with the original Pokemon, the first gen one, so I don't really even know that much about two cannon. Nate, did you just poop again? Nobody here likes normal. Uh, HS says, I haven't met the right girl yet. I will when the time is right. Will you, will you live stream your wedding? I mean, I like to see you happy. No, not in LA. Too weird. Yeah, LA is a little too weird. Now, no offense if people subscribe to this sort of thing, but when I went to LA, I took Ripley there to be in that music video for Iggy Azalea. And there was a lady there trying to recommend some place to uh, take Ripley to because they can talk to animals and they would tell me what she wanted. And, uh, you know, I politely just went along with it, but I wanted to just say, uh, I, th I already know what she wants. I think she wants blueberries. And she probably wants to get off the set and go back home. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Not that, that's too weird. It's like, oh, too weird, go back. <laughs> well, weird enough to where you like animals but don't think that you can talk to them. I think that's about where I'm from. Um, I mean, you can, you can communicate with them to some extent through body language and stuff and tone, but... You're not Eliza Thor Thornberry. Um, yeah, I've, I've been to Georgia a few times. I think yeah, I, I have a friend, a good friend that lives in Atlanta or near Atlanta. Yeah, well, Florida's full, full of weirdos. I got a, I got a couple friends in Florida that do Jurassic Park cars too, and they're weirdos as well. But they're all dudes. <laughs> Maeve loves her string. Yes, she does. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, if you live in a house full of animals, you're probably not normal. And I say that as a person also that lives in a house with animals. Who, someone's talking about an engagement iguana? What's an engagement iguana? What did I miss in the chat? That sounds interesting. Yeah, Dallas, okay, Carrie, Carrie's saying Dallas has some great areas, but as it's a city slash suburbia, it's also pricey compared to other areas. When I say Dallas, I mean more like in that area, like enough where I could drive into Dallas if I needed to. Because if this thing works out with Tupac's vet, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the new Burt to the same vet, probably, as well. Um, if it works out with that vet, and they're competent, and they can care for a toucan properly, that's a very valuable thing to have, especially on hand. Uh, especially if there's emergency clinics nearby, you know? Which, there's not, I mean, we have emergency clinics near here, but, like, they wouldn't know what the hell to do with a bird, you know? So, what are you doing? But, and then also working with the aquarium and stuff, which is in Dallas. So, I could go over there whenever and go film with their toucans they have. And they have a, they have a crap ton of toucans there. So. Um... Yeah, Florida would be good for the weather. Can we get an update on the bar? How much more have we gotten on the bar? Um, let me let me double check here. And we can update the bar. I can already tell this is going to be a freaking long live stream, but whatever. I'm here. I'll hang out with you guys. Uh, we haven't gotten that much more in Super Chats. Uh... But we did get, like, what? How much on PayPal? I don't think we've gotten enough to update the bar yet. We got, we got $60 on PayPal. So all we could really add right now is $60. Or we could add a little bit more, but uh, we haven't gotten that much on Super Chat in the, since we've updated it last. Oh, what are you doing? Did you think I was trying to get you to step up? Come here. I'm surprised she's not pecking at my phone. That's what she's normally doing. Um, 
trying to read all your... Yeah, California... California is just so expensive to live in. I, would, I wouldn't mind living there if it wasn't so expensive. And then everything, I don't know. It, California is such a weird place. There's so many, like, weird cities. And then there's, like, in between all the normal ones. And I, I, have, I actually have a fair amount of friends in California. And I could probably, if I had more money, I could go there and probably get make a lot of, like, network and make a lot of business stuff. Or get a lot of business stuff done in the area. But, um, I don't know, maybe in the future, you never know. I liked going to Los Angeles when I got Tupac, it was a lot of fun. I have friends that live up there that have toucans, and Emerald Forest Bird Gardens is there, and stuff. Which, you know, they really pioneered a lot of the toucan breeding in captivity, so, you know, I don't know. I always wanted to move there and work on movies, but, you know, now I just film birds. It's really funny, because... I filmed birds a lot when I was young too. I had a big camera with like a VC, VC like it had a tape you tape to, and uh, like a VCR tape. And I I made movies about birds on it. And we did one called Budgiezilla, where I made my my birds like Godzilla, basically like really big, and my with my sister's dollhouses and stuff. <laughs> we still have it somewhere. Maybe one day I'll show the channel. <coughs> the video, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, what else, oh, I had a, I had a, I married my, I, I had a wedding for my budgies, when I had them, and I, I'm pretty sure that's still recorded somewhere as well, I was, yeah, I was a weird kid, <laughs> and we would do, we would do, uh, with my sister Blake, the one you guys saw on the, uh, video, she was in them as well, a lot of times, and we did one where we did like a fake uh, behind the scenes thing with, what am I trying to say? We did a fake behind the scenes thing with uh, my sister pretending to be the director of Gremlins. And uh, we had like interviewed her and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I was a weird kid. I don't know why I wanted to film specifically the behind the scenes part of a movie that I had no part in, but I did for some reason. I don't know. Everyone, yeah, everyone click, everyone give a thumbs up if you're here still. It helps, it does help with the algorithm. I'm really bad about asking for subscribers and thumbs up and stuff in videos usually. So, I don't like asking for stuff like that. Add in, add in, add in PayPal. What, what are we talking about here? Um, what's my opinion on the Australian fires? We talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, Australia fires bad, climate change bad. That's my opinion. I wish I could do something. Uh, I mean, all we can really do is donate, you know. So. Um. HS says, really enjoyed my Dallas World Aquarium video. It was really nice to see the British Columbia Marine exhibit. That's where they're from. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the, the whole aquarium part where they have it, like, based on... Um, budgies don't want to live in sin. <laughs> that made me laugh. Now, I, was a, I was a romantic kid. I've had my heart broken a few times since then. So I've become a little more cynical, but there was a time where I was uh, a little more romantic <laughs> about that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the aquarium is really cool because it has different sections with the fish that uh, are based on where they're from. What are you looking for? Maybe, and you guys probably can't see her, but Maeve's over here looking for something. Um... A three-bedroom house for 135000 That's not too bad. What part of California is it in? That's the big question. I want to... The problem is when I move, I need to spend, like, less... Like, I need a house that's less money so that I can spend more on bird adaptations, basically. Like, I want to plan to be there for a long, long time. So... 
Um, I mean, it is lucky that I'm a single dude that's weird and can, I don't mind, like I'll see a weird house that's set up really weird that a family might not necessarily want, but I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. I'm down with that. Like, there was this house that was like on stilts and like had this weird 70s aesthetic to it. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I would go for that. But it was, it, it had been for sale, excuse me, for like two years or something. But that helps. Excuse me, man. Um, have I ever been to the Tennessee Aquarium? I have not. Go move to Riverside, California. I don't even know where Riverside is, to be honest with you. California is on a major fault line, and it's on fire a lot. That's a good point. That's a good point. Thousand Oaks, California. Yeah, my friend. Uh, I have a friend that works for Sideshow Collectibles in Thousand Oaks. I've been there. I need to go visit that place again. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, budgie wedding. I had a budgie wedding, guys. <laughs> Don't make fun of me, okay? <laughs> Uh, Jennifer Hollis sent ten dollars, and she said, "I love your I love birds and used to have four cockatiels. I really enjoy watching you and your banana pack. Maeve is my favorite. Tupac is so chill. You're a great bird, Dad. They're lucky to have you. Thank you, Jennifer. And also, it's mildly relieving to me, and I'll tell you why. Because I feel like people like Tupac more than Maeve a lot of times, and that's probably the case. So I'm glad somebody likes Maeve." You praying back there? What are you doing? We're going to wrap up the stream here shortly. Don't worry, guys. Darian sent another dollar. Thank you, Darian. <laughs> um, you might have to refresh the page to see the likes. Someone said there's only 165,000, or 100, so that'd be cool if there's 165,000, but there's not, 165 likes. It wasn't on, it wasn't in Queensland. It wasn't in Australia. I could never, unfortunately, although I have a love for Australia, and it's women apparently, <laughs> I could never move there because uh, I cannot take the birds. There's some restrictions on you know, what you can and cannot take out of the country and bring into another country and stuff like that. So, uh, that's not feasible for me. And then I couldn't get any new toucans there as well. And I don't think there's even any toucans in zoos in Australia. I could be wrong, but, um, it's been over three hours. Yeah, it has, it has been a long stream stream. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, California is in the middle of a housing crisis. Probably not a good time to move here. <laughs> yeah, I, I might stay in the kind of... I don't want to go too far because I don't want to be too far from my family and stuff. But you know, I, think, I think Texas is a pretty good option. We'll see, though. I like a lot of parts of Texas. And uh, Austin actually has a pretty big YouTube community from what I hear. So... We have 373 likes now. Let's let's double check here. Maeve is playing with the can. Um. Yeah, 300. Wait, it says 320. Wait, no, that's how many. Wait, what? I'm confused. Hold on. Okay. I'm I'm screwing things up. Hold on, guys. Um, wait, how many likes do we have? Oh, yeah, we have 378 likes. How do we have eight dislikes? Who's coming in here and disliking it? That's all I want to know. There wasn't even that many people in here. <laughs> Come on, guys. Not you guys. You guys are good, probably. Wait, let's see here. All right, everyone, everyone's saying good night. Thank you for coming, Brianna. 
I think it's about time to wrap it all up. We'll give we'll give Tupac some little snuggles here real quick. I don't think we're gonna get any more super chats, but if you are gonna send if you're gonna send a super chat, oh, come here, buddy. Now is the time because it is time to end the stream. If you want to send a chat or have a question answered, we need to get it in in the next few minutes. I think it's about time for the birds to settle down too. You alright, buddy? You want to say goodbye to everybody? Hmm. You have a little bit of pen feathers, but not as many as you did. Um. Yeah, we have we have some good people here. Apparently, I'm impressed with you guys. We have a good community going. Um. I think yeah, I think it's about time to end. I don't know. I don't think we can go much longer, and nobody more is showing up. So wait, we got one more. We got one on PayPal. Let's check it out. Okay, Timothy sent twenty dollars on PayPal. Thank you, Timothy. Um, I don't know. I think that's about it, guys. Everyone's saying good night. <laughs> and my camera battery is probably about to die too. So. But uh, we'll do another one. We'll, we're going to do another one before I leave. And um, hopefully by the next stream, well, probably not the next stream, but the following one, I should know more about Tupac pretty soon that I can tell you guys. So, but anyways, thanks so much for watching. We'll have a new video Tuesday. So come back for that, and then we'll do another live stream soon. Oh, we got one more. It says good night. Maureen Morales says good night. Thank you, Maureen. 9.99. Okay, guys. I'm putting birds to bed, and it's time to say goodbye. Oh, cracking my back. Good night, everybody. Hope it's focused. Hope I don't look weird. But we're shutting it off. We'll see you next time.